madre de Jesucristo, que es en orden o predas, non so preguenza, casa fatan furtos, nen viledas, que des un muy gran milagre, vos diré que me juraron, o me es de buena vida, me por verdad demostraron que veto santa. Good morning, Raptoria. 
Hello, welcome, good to see you all here. Welcome back, folks, to Manor Lords. Hey, and a happy weekend to you all. Welcome, everybody, to uh, an awesome city builder, which you may have heard of, may have seen before. If not, Manor Lords is a lot of fun. We're going to play on some of the harder settings today, which will make the difficulty in the game a lot harder, including turning down the amount of starting materials that we get, turning up the uh, impatience of the people, or really turning down their tolerance, and also increasing the um, spoilage for things like a firewood, you know, like it, it getting wet or whatnot if left out in the rain, and also the uh, food that can also spoil if left out too. Welcome back. Good to see you all here. Thanks again for all the big O member bombs this week, all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for leaving a like. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being in the chat. And I hope you've all been enjoying your first week of, uh, well, the first week's behind us for October. Halloween's coming soon. <coughs> We're going to play this game again on Monday, Sunday and Monday, too, so I'm a little stuffy. The mornings are getting colder. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're all good here. Uh, we're going to play this again tomorrow morning and uh, Monday morning, which I think the demo will end on Monday. So if you want to try Manor Lords, it's free for the rest of the weekend and Monday for the demo. The demo is free. This is just the demo version, and only the demo version is out now for free until possibly Monday. It could go past Monday, but I think Manor Lords is part of the next event, which means that Steam is showcasing games that are coming up next, like in the next year or so. So uh, it could possibly go behind closed doors. It's like a 50-50. It might, it might not. It's hard to tell. But anyway, I thought we would build a city today on some of the harder difficulties and uh, hopefully start somewhere lovely. Welcome aboard again. Good to see you all here. And uh, yeah, good morning, Raptoria. Good to see those Raptorian flags in the chat. It's awesome. This game looks incredible. Yeah, it certainly does like look beautiful. It, looks un it really looks unbelievable. It's like, no way. Like, how did... You know, this is the game that when you think of like medieval city building games, this is what you think of. And so for it to like be here where you can build a lovely city, it's like, no way. No way. But yes way. All right, let's get started. Happy Thanksgiving weekend to all Canadians. Oh, yeah. All right. I forgot. Canada has theirs in October. Isn't it? Isn't Thanksgiving today in Canada? I forget. I thought it was like really early in the in the month. I, for, I forgot all about it. Oh, my God. Oh, that music, though. It's Monday morning in Canada. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, then you guys get the Extendo weekend. Awesome. Well, happy Thanksgiving early. Happy Thanksgiving, Canada. I forget how early that is in October. I love that, man. It's your 34th birthday today? All right. Happy birthday, Gary. Good to see you in the chat. Welcome aboard, dude. And Tan, hello to you as well. Let's jump into some Manor Lords, folks. All right. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a new character. Rise to Prosperity. We're the first lord to settle these lands. Start from nothing. Build a prosperous medieval city. All right. I think we played as every character. Maybe not this guy. I don't remember playing as this guy. And not this guy too often. I think we'll go with this guy. Um, not that it matters too much, but anyway, we'll go with Sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's. No, Sir, you're making a scene. No, okay. Oh, t name's too long. Um, Sir Loin. <laughs> that would work. Uh, let's go with just Sir. Hmm. Sir Hoopla? That's the first name that came to mind. I, I don't know if that's how you spell it, that, but that's how you spell his name. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go with a interesting-looking banner. I like that. Let's go with a... Sir Cristo, yeah. Uh, we don't... Let's use a color we don't really use. I haven't really used orange too much. Or dark blue. What about dark blue and orange? Was that like, that like a? Wait a minute. This reminds me of uh, this reminds me of uh, Home Improvement. Uh, Tim's neighbor like peeking over the fence. <laughs> I don't I don't know why that came to my mind, but it just reminds me of Tim the Toolman Taylor's neighbor just peeking over the over the fence line. Um, r red. Where does that? Oh, I think that outline goes on a logo. All right, we definitely need a bowl because Fritz, you know, our. You cannot build your city. The most important thing in this game is the bowl, dude. You cannot build your city without Fritz. 
That's what we name our bowl every time. And there's you can't you can't have a city without them. No way. Uh, I don't like this logo at top though. What I don't I don't know what that is. Um. We can't build the city without the bull, and we can't build the city without, um, oh, that kind of looks cool. Is there like a, a sun or a snail? Escargo. Pants. Uh, a sword? Mm, that's a little too skinny, though. Maybe we could use that Polish eagle, which was pretty cool last time. Looks cool, too. If I can shrink that down a little bit, maybe? Oh, that actually would look cool. Alright, I, I actually like that. The uh, primary color, though. Let's go with black. White. Titanium white. In this, uh, I don't know, midnight blue. I have no idea what Bob would call that stuff. But that, that seems good to me. I think we're good to go, folks. Alright. Sir Hoopla. Uh... Iron Cross, Bull, let's go. Alright, so starting supplies, we're starting with none, so this is going to make this a lot harder. By literally starting with nothing, it's going to drag things out a lot longer. Uh, approval, we're going to make everybody demanding, so it's going to take a while for us to get more people, and weather events are going to be difficult, meaning that um, how much rain can damage exposed supplies. So we got to be very... Uh, very cautious. Which means we're probably going to play on slow for a while till we get everything sorted out. Sir Hoopla of the Holy Cow. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Don't have a cow, man. Don't have one. All right. And we are... We are here again. Okay. Which means we can build our manor up here on the cliff. Nice. All right. We have a new message. Build the granary, logging camp, hunting camp. Let's begin. All right, so the only thing we can do is the logging camp for now. We only start with two logs, so it's going to be important where we place that. Let's just pause for a second, get our bearings. Okay, so down here is going to be our farming of wheat. Oof, flax farming looks rough. Ooh. Oh, there's like... Only, only up here in the very corner of the map is farming going to be good for flax. That's rough. And then barley down here, too. So our farming will primarily be down this way. We'll probably build the town then closer up here. Cool. I was actually hoping that we would spawn here. I've always wanted to build a manor here with the town here. I was hoping we would start here. It's all good, though. What do we got for deposits? Two animal deposits, stone and iron. Okay. Gotta go down to the animal mines. What does salt look like? Oh, it's in the water. Oh. So there could be a future... I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but maybe that's where water's, water's supposed to spawn with salt deposits along it or something. That'd be cool. We actually have to get like a, a building on the side of a river to like get out the salt. Interesting. Alright, let's go to build that logging camp then. So if we're going to have farming down here, we should probably... Uh, can't cut down those trees because of the animals. But we can cut down all this area, so let's do that. We'll build over Meow. Let's get to work, people. All right, so yeah, we start with only two logs, so that's all we can build for now. Got to have the boys build everything else. Oh, you know what? Actually, I did remember that we can build the hunting camp, too, for free. I guess we'll build the hunting camp here. I think I'm going to build two of these just in case. 
This is a beautiful game and you do it justice, Raptor? Well, that's good. Uh, I've been enjoying playing it, that's for sure. Let's go, people! Get to work, lads! You know, it'd be cool is if I build this road around this rock, because, like, that's a pretty big boulder. If you wanted to move that, like, in real life, you'd have to tie ropes around that and, like, get a horse or something to pull that out of there. All right, so two hunting camps ready to go, but we got to make the logging camp top priority. There we go. Kind of looks realistic too to just build around the rock, and way easier to walk around it. Unfortunately, the stone deposit is probably where we'll build the church. So, oops, that'll be our uh, church of the stone. Worship the boulder? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. I make the uh, logging camp top priority. <clears throat> and everybody goes to run and build the other things, which is actually kind of good because this doesn't have materials yet to build, so the only thing they can build is the hunting camp. So, I guess it works out. Alright, we'll put two people on hunting because we have no food. Actually, we should probably get food food up. Get to work, lads. Yep, nobody has food. Actually, please build that first. Nobody's gonna have food. Uh, is there a speed buff when a unit is on a hill? Well, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think their movement speed decreases or increases when they move up or down a hill. Might apply to the military stuff because they'll be wearing heavy armor and stuff, but... Here we have people hunting already. He's making food. Oh, we should move that hitching post too. Although they still need to get the two logs from here. Kitchen post is there. All right, let's move that over. Meow. Does this compare with kingdoms and castles? Well, if you like medieval kingdom builders, then yes. Get to work, lads. All right, that should be good. That's kind of cool, how that road looks like that. Yeah, this is just the demo, so it's kind of hard to judge the game as a whole when we only get like a little bit of a taste of building in one regions, but building in one of the regions is fun. Hoping to see more soon. 
Alright, so we should have two people hunting right now. This guy's already making meat, that's good. Logging camp still being built. You watched me play last night and you downloaded the game you're playing right now, loving it? Good. All part of the evil plan. We need more men at the camp. All right, boys, grab all that meat. Got to get those uh, reserves up a little bit. And then we got to get that logging camp built. It's going to be a tough first year. Yeah, this music is very nice. Yeah, everything's simple in this game, you know? It's nice. You know, it, it, the goal is simple, like, you know, hunt animal, get meat, build a house, make it out of wood, go cut down trees. Very simple, you know? Not that it's easy, it's just straightforward that way. Alright, we have the food reserves up a little bit. I'm going to get the other two guys on building now. Now we have 12 food. Hopefully that's enough for five people for a little bit. Get the camp back up to 10. 9. Yeah, I like Farthest Frontier's music, too. Certainly feel like a lot of these games coming out could have soundtracks that you could just listen to in other games. Like, it would be nice even to listen to this music in, like, City Skylines. Or to listen to, like, Stronghold's music in this game. It's all applicable. Lots of food coming in. All right. Man, that took a long time for the lumber camp. It's already April. How was pizza yesterday? Great. I enjoyed it. High quality. over there. Alright, and then we got, oh, we got to rename Fritz, of course. Can't have a city without Fritz. Okay, so now we just need to get like uh, ten logs in order to build five homes to get everybody not homeless for the year. We also need to build a granary and a storehouse and that's it. We also don't have any firewood, so we got to build that too. So that's fun, Smiley.
Yep, we're waiting for logs to come in now. We got one. So now we gotta wait a little while. Let's see what the cost of things are. I think it's all two for what we need. Two for the granary, two for the storehouse, and then houses are also two. So in total, we're gonna need 14 logs. Where should we build storage? And we're gonna rely on meat for a long time. We really need to start making those pelts into tanned hides ASAP. Bum, bum, bum. You want some pizza? Maybe you'll do that for dinner? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've like went out and got a pizza. It was a nice local mom and pop place yesterday. It was good and I'm happy for it. I got to go outside, chat. There's an outside, I know. Come on, people! Get Weird. to work! Weird. Should I build this on this side or that side? I could build it there, it'll fit perfectly, so let's do that. Yeah, I went into the out. I know. It's like the upside down for gamers. The shadow realms. Even though it's... You know, there's more light out there. <laughs> Alright, two more logs and we can build our storehouse. And then we can start building houses. What's outside? Uh, it looks like this, but worse drivers. Kind of looks like Manor Lords, but... More oxen, except the oxen are like... On Toyota RAV4s that people don't know how to use the signal on, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, nice. Fritz actually... Oh, that's cool. When Fritz drops off the log, it actually gets placed onto the... Uh, seesaws in order to be turned into like a... Plank or a rafter or something? That's cool. That's neat that he actually puts it like in the correct spot to where the animation will be. Wow. Details. W YouTuber, thank you. That's nice. Game is cool, tremendous amount of detail. Agreed. Yep. I'm still surprised that these little things that I find like that, that you... You know, I, I've played this almost, what, 80 hours now just for a demo, and I'm still, like, finding new things. I mean, when the full game is released, imagine all the things that'll be different and changed and we'll be like, whoa, that's so cool. Eighty hours in the demo, yeah. I mean it's fun. I mean the game's you know, honestly the last three days in a row the game has crashed, and I suppose it's going to crash again today too, but the first four days that I played it or whatever had no issues whatsoever and got super far. Don't know what that is, don't know why it does it. Might have something to do with I don't know my memory and stuff on my PC versus the game, which a lot of people are reporting, so it could be a thing to improve, but, I mean, regardless, you know, it's like I'm not that bad. And it's a demo, and it's free, so it's like, you're playing the No Man's Sky right now, it's even better than, oh, by far, I can't believe it. Yeah, I heard it was like a, a chilled update or something, What what is the No Man's Sky update? You want to see a horse up close? Uh, there's no horses in the... Actually, wait a minute. That's not true. There is a merchant that will walk around that has a horse. If we can find one, I'll show you. Uh, where's a merchant? Ah, here we go.
Now, we don't get any horses. Not yet, anyway, but the merchants like that do. Oh, man, I wish I could build a fort there. I want to build a manor in, like, every cool spot. Oh, where were we? Over oh, here. That is cool. Yeah, you're welcome, Julie. Alright, so we need to build a, a granary, then we need to build a storage depot. Do I want to be Lord of Manors? Yeah, well, I, I'd like to build a manor again. I seem to get to the point where I start building farms, and the game's like, you're done, chief. And it's like, what? No. Ah. <sighs> Oh good, now we can build a storehouse. Let's get to work. Cool. Good morning, Raptoria. Yes, indeed. Welcome, chat. So now they're going to go get materials for the other storehouse now, and then we can start making some actual hooses. Alright, so we need to get ten logs now. Fritz is the best, I know. He's the coolest oxen in town. Dude, I'm telling you, this is why the ox is so important. Your town does not get built without the ox. The people are important too, but, you know, they kind of just, people just show up with the uh, promise of a free house, but Fritz has, to, the Fritz has to be earned, you know? You gotta buy them. They're resilient. They don't eat. There's nothing but power and output. Alright, we're gonna try to make the town here, so we're gonna try to cut down a bunch of logs. There's a lot of fertility over here, so we we don't want to really build so much of it this way. Yeah, Fritz is the CEO, the chief executive oxen. Yeah. Yeah. Fritz always has a diff lock, all wheel drive, chains on. Nothing can stop him. Like, oh, winter icy road, ninety degree slope, no problem, brother. I'll get that log up there. All right, so he's going to bring one more log, and then we just need to get, yeah, ten, ten logs in storage. To which we can start building some roads, so let's, while we wait for the delivery, plan out the town a little bit. Road's pretty steep. We gotta be careful with how we build it.
Nice. Pretty steep. But she works. That'll be the pathway to the Lord's Manor. You know, actually, there's like an upper and a lower section. This is kind of higher than this. We'll build the road around here. And the church might be able to go there. I think uh, also building road through trees might cut them down, so I'm going to be a little careful about laying out the road too far. But I think the start is there. We want to clear this out to build the city and to get resources for the city. <coughs> What's up, 60, uh, 6 cents? How you doing? I'm not sure when this game is coming out. Hopefully um, we'll hear more news maybe end of next year. But I hope with more and more support and more interest, the developer feels like some of the ideas and plans that they have maybe are more possible. Uh, you know, I, if this game gets delayed two, three years, totally fine. I just want to be able to play a demo every once in a while of all the new stuff. This game shows a lot of um, things that we, we want possible in other games. I think the road building is like some of the best road building I've ever seen in terms of the freedom to do it and the AI's intelligence to follow the roads that you build. And I think I want to see more of that in games like City Skylines, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. Any game where you lay out a road or a pathway, I want it to work like that. Alternatively, I also like how it works in games like Ostrieve, where you can build fences to kind of guide people on roads that they'll build eventually. And I also like how it works in Foundation, where you like deny areas and say, don't, don't build here, don't walk here, and then they kind of form their own pathway that way. Um, but regardless, this just looks nice with how you can curve roads and how the buildings follow that curve. And I think that's something City Skylines really needs too, where if you build a beautiful, like, curved road, property lines should be able to build up to the road too, and, you know, fence lines or, you know, hedge lines or bushes or something should be able to be built right up to the edge of the property line near the sidewalk, that kind of thing. All right, now we got to build five houses and a well. But actually, it's 11. 11 logs are what we need. Yeah, but the road building is so, you know, nice. There's not like all these, I'll tell you, one of the most annoying things in City Skylines for me, regardless of mods, is like building on and off ramps from highways. It always just feels like they never, they're always either 90 degrees or 91 degrees. It never, they never seem to be smooth or, they just never seem to work right, feel right. They never seem to feel right. Wow, we got lots of food. Um, I've only really played Skyrim a bit, but, and uh, saw some people playing The Witcher 3 when it came out. And I, I think both games are great. I, I would love to play probably The Witcher first, but that's a lot of time investment. I, I don't know where I'll find that time. But when we get to 4,000 members, to which we're 
uh, a few hundred off now. We will play Kingdom Come Deliverance, Chinatown Detective Agency, and Red Dead Redemption 2. So for those of you who are spamming the hell out of that join button and or member bomb, you're getting us close. Good work. Oh, and Phasmophobia, yeah, okay. Yeah, I keep stacking it on. Traveling merchant is traveling. Unplayable. Alright, we just need uh, 10 logs to build the houses, 11 logs to build the well. Certainly is a much more challenging start, that's for sure. Yeah, whenever there's an update for any game, we'll go ahead and play it. Like, tonight we're going to be playing an update. Tomorrow we're going to be playing a release. Anytime there's an update for anything, we'll uh, give it a try as soon as we can. Soon. Soon. Almost to 10 timber. I think we could start building the houses down here. We'll try to build like in closer to the rock here, the cliff side. Oh, thank you, Charles. That's very nice of you. Thanks for dropping into the chat. Thank you. Very nice. Nice. All right, there's our 10 logs. Hmm. Some of these things are blocking the way. Oh yeah, church is gonna be here. build a church like this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to leave that area alone. A lot of buildings are in the way of where I want to build stuff. Oh boy. That's annoying too, because I've noticed that uh, the supplies in the game also don't... Even when you... Um, use all the resources, the supplies usually stay. So 
So we could turn this into a market area. Yeah, we'll blend that into the market. This uh, camp should disappear. Make some boundaries for the uh, church then. Try to keep other buildings away. Church is square, so we'll build the uh, road kind of in a square. You're gonna play along with me? Awesome. Well, welcome. Glad you're all playing too. Pretty fun to be able to play a free demo, Smiley. Uh, a new tweet from the dev about the churchyard. Really? What does it say? Oh, a poll. Democracy. And what do we do here? Yeah, we'll probably build a road back here. Probably keeping it square to try to fit the church as best as we can. Should it be flexible or not? Oh, where you can make the churchyard? Oh, for sure. I think you should be able to... You know, there's a snap to road feature in the game, right? Why not both? Like, either A, have the prefab, or B, don't. I wouldn't mind it. In fact, if I build two churches, I would want one default and one prefab then. Because then they would both look different. That'd be cute. Hmm. So how does this look now? Oh, that's going to be all right. And we'll tidy that up a little bit. The church is kind of on a hill, so we'll make windy roads going up to those entryways. Okay. spot for a house. This camp is in the way. Tony, welcome aboard, or rather, welcome back, man, as a little raptor. Thank you very much for the support. Wow. Thank you. Only one of the houses getting... That's not good. Oh, we're down to nine logs. We need another one. Hi, Wolfgang. Is it here? Hello? Hi guys. Welcome chat. Good to see you. Alright, now we have 10 logs again. Okay. 
Okay. Try to build a guiding road like that for the houses. Oh, nice, nice. Why, well, that should be the f five houses we need, so now we just gotta build them. That should be one, two, three, four, five, yep. And we need a well. Well, well, well. Now oh, we can put that near the market. Market's gonna be tiny. We'll build the houses first. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm up to about like 70, 80 hours in the demo. Let me check. Uh, 61.6. We're getting close to 70 hours then. It'll probably be 70 hours by the end of the demo. Or by Monday. Monday after the uh, demo might end, it'll probably be close to 70 hours. Feels like 100. I feel like the stone deposit should be into the side of a mountain or something. Not just like some boulders on the ground. Although, maybe those could just be picked up to start with? I I guess there's also these resources are infinite. Like you can, from what I see, you can inf infinitely mine iron. Although you don't get a lot of money for it, but it's pretty easy to mine it and sell it. I'm going to be worried about animals now. We need a lot more food. Bum, bum, bum. You're a new viewer? Awesome. Thank you very much for uh, being a new viewer, my man. Welcome. Uglik, good to see you as well. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hi, good to see you all here. Good morning. Incoming riots. Well, they'll chill out a little bit. They'll chill out a little bit when we make um, a couple more houses. House number one going up. Then we can build the... Uh... I guess they really don't want water yet.
House one up. Now they want water. No firewood? Nope, not yet. But we will need that before winter. Luckily, the first year is not too needy with uh, firewood. Now we're going to build it there. We will need to build that firewood building, though. Which luckily costs one. Oh, no, that's uh, the stall. The cutter probably costs two, then. Oh, only costs one. Let's get to work! You hope this successful demo release encourages other game developers to do the same to keep the hype alive in future titles? Yeah. Well, I think this game was in the oven for a very long time until the developer even, like, showed any sort of, uh, any sort of footage or anything, and that, when, uh, there was, like, some official trailers coming out, it just didn't seem possible. It's like, no way. But it was, but it showed so much of it, and it was so well presented that it was, like, Instead of it being like, no way. It was like, no way. You know what I mean? And now that the demo's here, it's like, oh yeah. It confirms a lot of things that we all were excited for and such. This game will certainly have, like, you know, a lot, a lot of uh, things people still... When it's announced that, oh, 1.0 is here and it's finally released, there's still going to be issues and things that people want added. But, you know, all game developed now, especially if it's like a singular developer and or a very small group and smaller publishers is that everybody can be a little bit more patient with that and just be like, this game should be here for the long haul. This should be supported for a very long time. Like, if this game were to come out uh, today, I'd love for it to be supported for the next 10 years with crazy amounts of mods and the developer adding, like expansions and like tons of free new stuff to keep it fresh like new portraits and new maps and new maybe a new quest line and maybe some paid dlc too so they can pay for more i mean clearly they've shown that they're going to put quality before anything else so even quality into trailers and stuff i mean this the the first like three things on this developer's checklist is like quality 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 first it seems. So it appears. Which is good. Yeah, this demo should be lasting until Monday. Maybe. I hope it goes further, but I'm thinking it'll be Monday when the Steam Next event ends. But I would love to see more games like this take place in Rome. You know, j just, just like this in many ways. I think this is the new standard and I want to see more games like this. You'll hear people shrieking from the mountaintops, carbon copy! But it's like, no, dude. Like... This game is uh, such a wonderful step in the right direction that this should be the new standard for a lot of more serious, realistic, hardcore games. There certainly can be fun medieval city builders, 
like foundation and stuff is all cute and cuddly and it's fun to build big o castles and monasteries but it's also and same with the kingdoms and castles but Austria even this game and foundation uh sorry uh, farthest frontier kind of like on the whole hardcore realism where there's uh there's brutal war there's disease like in you know farthest frontier has crop disease and human diseases too like the plague and fleas and broken bones and stuff So hopefully we get more of that. Well, sorry about the rock pile in your guys' backyard. Ah, the kids will love it. Yeah, I think I think Banish set a new standard for gaming. Although there were games like that before where you you know you had to farm to feed your people and stuff like that, otherwise they would die. But Banish kind of went into a whole different direction, and this is like the next part of that. That's an RC crawler paradise. Yeah. True. Oh boy. I love that the game at least lets you build roads there. I wonder how that'll be done in the future for those deposits. Because, like, iron you can just build right over the top. Heavy rain. I'll make sure these are first. That one nine, this one eight. That should be five homes. And then this thing last. Oh boy. Here we go again, brother, yeah. The trees and stuff are so beautiful. The rolling hills are ridiculous. Music's so lovely. Waiting on the last house to complete, or last two houses. Search medieval hip hop? Oh, you mean like uh, people turning like Eminem songs into like medieval folklore <laughs> songs where they take the lyrics? Turn it into the hip and the hop. Bardcore. Is that what it's called? Bardcore? That is that is genius. You know, after we play Sea of Thieves a lot, that's something I end up listening to a little bit too, is pirate like pirate music. Like modern bands that'll just play pirate music. Always wondering where is all the rum gone? For whatever reason. Seems to be a shortage in the pirate world of, of rum. Seems like a horrible place to live.
But hey, once we build uh, the tavern, we get tavern banger. Yay, we have a 0% approval rating, yay. Well, they'll be happy. Two more homes in the well, and then it'll all be well and good. Good thing is about the uh, firewood cutter, too, we can actually... Like, we can cut firewood pretty easily in the winter. I think we can squeeze one more house in at the end for sure. With a big plot. I also like how it shows that we're just a settler's camp now. It shows a little tent up there. The more and more we build, the uh, higher the rep of the town. Until you heard Tavern Banger, you had no idea how much you needed Tavern Banger in your life. Yep. Two things I discovered about Manor Lords. Tavern Banger and Fritz. That's how you know it's a game of the year. No need to play God of War Ragnarok or anything, guys. You got a PS5, you can go ahead and sell that. No need. Just buy infinite copies of Manor Lords. <laughs> Alright, so we got, what, one more house to build, and the, um, I think we're going to build the uh, wealth last, very quick. Can't confirm PS5 even exists. I agree. I don't own one, so must not exist. Uh, this tent will these tents disappear when you build all the houses anyway so this will be out of here soon Alright, well, lots of these trees. Oh, look at the tree transition, too. Beautiful. Well, I hope to see more birds and stuff flying around in this game. It'd be beautiful to see bird formations in the fall. Or just throughout the year of them coming and going. It'd be kind of cool if, like, Birds or something like that would land at a local body of water and then you could hunt them too. Like, oh, a lot of ducks have been sighted in the area. That'd be cool. It, Fritz must have delivered all the wood to where it needed to go. Yep, okay. So we just need people to build now, which I think they're working on the last house. Yep. Man, look at the moss on that tree. 
Bruh, bruh, look at the, the bark details, bruh. The details. Oh, wait, there's a little bit of a line there. Unplayable. Yep, vi visible line. Now you can't, I can still see it from here. Look at that. Even from here, I can still see it. Unplayable. Unplayable. Negative five stars. Immersion ruined. You can mine clay, rocks, and iron, but only to sell it in the market. Oh, can you actually mine the uh, rocks? Because I was never able to do that yet. I have been able to mine iron and sell it, and also make tools and stuff. I've actually never been in a plot that has clay either. Has anybody ever spawned where there's clay? Like, it's always been... The closest I've ever gotten is it's always one region over. Wow, look at that. Three animal deposits and berries. Damn. I wish I would have started there. Although clay doesn't really sell for much, and neither does iron ore. Like, leather sells for the most amount. Sorry you can't mine rocks in the depth. Manor Lords is in the chat right Did you see this line in, on this tree? Excuse me. I'm really upset playing this free demo. I mean, look at that. I can, you can't unsee it now. I can still see it from here. What's going on? I'm going to call the video game police right now. What is their number? Manor Lords is in Europe. Is it reverse? Is it 119? <laughs> They're on the way, pal. Also, hi, Manor Lords. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, there's moss on the trees. It's actually really impressive. <laughs> My career is ruined. Oh, no. Uh, I think it's far from that. <laughs> it's quite the off opposite. Settlement underscore level underscore increased. New underscore development underscore point. Alright, so now we just need to build the well and then... Which I think, yep, they're going to work on. I don't know what it is, but I do like that echoing. As you speed up time, I like hearing that echo. Hearing that echo is so much better than hearing the sound effect faster. Well, it is faster, but there's something nicer about it. I like that. Today's goal, really, secretly, chat, is to build the tavern so Tavern Banger comes on. Chat's favorite sound effect. Oh, cool, I was wondering if to keep the echo or not. Ah, I like it. I don't, it, it. It lets me know, without really paying attention to the, sp to the speed in the game, that, like, I know... There's several visual cues and sound cues to let me know that the speed's sped up, right? Like, right now, the game is now slowed down because a new message has come in. Right, for all the, the stalls and things like that, but... Because, like, when you speed it up, you can see the trees, you know, the tree movement increases. The overall sound effects kind of mute of the people. But then you hear the wind more. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of times where players will fast forward just to get through a certain... Especially at the beginning, like, once you've laid out a lot of stuff, just waiting for Fritz to drop off the uh, ox. Which, by the way, petition to make sure in the code, by default, every oxen is named Fritz at the start. Thanks. Appreciate it, big fam. Oh, we got seven Timmer. My goodness, that's a lot of Timmer. Oh, good, the homeless camp is gone, too. Now we can build. Um. Now we can build our marketplace. <laughs> yes. Um, maybe we'll build a mark. Wow, market behind this guy's house. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he goes.
I was hoping to push an update today, but it might need more time, sadly. Take all the time in the world. That's one of the messages that I've been trying to hammer to chat and everybody watching is that with all the time that this developer has put into this game so far, look at what look at what's possible. This is just like a stepping stone. Well, really, I don't know. I mean, I hate to fanboy so much, chat, but this... You know, it's like one small step for man, one giant leap for gaming. Kind of what it is. Because now I think that this means that one person or a very small group of people who've worked together and or through, you know, getting assets and other development help or else, this is what's possible with the with pure passion and probably a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. And sleepless nights. So rather than cram and trying to put out part seven of a franchise just to try to get money, this is what's this is a game made by gamer, uh, a gamer for gamers. That is my opinion, though. Thank you, Raptor, and thanks for all the love in the chat. Yep. Well, and again, if you guys have feedback for the dev, make sure you go to the Discord. Make sure you interact with the polls on Twitter. You know, just for I, th I think it's at. Is it Lord's Manor on Twitter? Just search for Manor Lords on Twitter. It'll come up and interact with the polls. Give as much feedback as you can. If there's an issue, take a screenshot. Send it to the dev. And keep in mind that there's the boot mode and the oxen stuck for if you play the demo. Oh, also, you know, um, Manor Lords, can, are you able to confirm whether or not the demo will continue past Monday? Because for all these Steam Next events, I've, I've been in a few of them where I see some demos continue past the date and or up forever before the release of a game, and some go away for a while. Do you, do you have any plans to um, keep the demo up, or do you want to put it back in the, in the box for a little while? You love the draw distance? I, isn't it ridiculous? Like, literally, you can see... Like, I feel like I could see the ocean from here. A th like, it's a thousand miles in all directions. Like, it feels like it's possible for me to go up, walk into those mountains. It'd be amazing. Anyway, uh, let's continue with the... Um, what do we really need now? Firewood. They're building that. Demo should get locked after this October 10th, as far as I know. The publisher helps me organize this stuff, then we'll plan the next possible event. Good. I'm so glad that you went with Hooded Horse as well. I, I'd seen a few game developers that they've teamed up with, and I think some of the games that are with the same publisher that you are now are really, like, cool and unique. You know, all games are that way, but some of those are real bangers. I think uh, Tiny Build, Team 17, and uh, Now Hooded Horse are like three of these publishers where they're a lot of, When I go through the libraries of publishers, I'm like... I, I'm starting to realize how many of those games are like, wait, I already own like 90% of these games. I didn't realize these people were the publisher, that kind of thing. Crazy. It's cool how publishers kind of also have like the same... interesting games too. Like, they kind of pick... It's not like one time it's a sports game, then it's a racing game, then it's like a survival game. It's all usually... I don't know. They always feel somehow related. Somehow. So anyway, I'm glad you... I f I'm glad you feel comfortable with your publisher now, from what I read. They're a big strategy in City Builder Nerds specifically? Oh, good. Yeah, I think the first time I heard about them was with Falling Frontier. That's good. 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 Alright, so a possible update to the demo today, maybe. The demo will likely be locked on October 10th. But regardless, I think you guys should all at least add this to your wish list and play the demo, too. Since it is the weekend now, take a little bit of time to uh, enjoy the world of the, the 
the lords of manners, the manner of lords, manner lords. You're downloading now? Yeah, good. Does hardest difficulty mean more consumption? Yeah, so there's a few options for the demo that kind of make it a little more difficult start and for stored storage of things and your people are a lot less tolerant so um, you basically start with two logs on the hardest difficulty which means you got to build your logging camp right away in order to build stuff uh, then exposed goods rot very quickly so you won't be able to get you'll have to store all your firewood and all your food really quickly and then tolerance means that you gotta have a little bit of happiness before people want to move in or at least I, I think yourself, you know, it's like a personal goal to get that happiness up. But it, it'll go up now slowly over time. But now we can do the marketplace. I, it, this is just awesome. Like this, this ability to go around stuff like this. It's so nice, dude. It's not perfect, but it's like an absolute, like, Olympian, gold gold medal Olympian jump forward. So good. Alright, well, let's build the stalls then. Get that happiness up. This uh, lower tolerance level also makes you play a little bit differently, too, because, like, in the easier starts and the higher tolerance, is just more of a build mode. This kind of feels more... The people feel accurately needy. Like me, I'm very needy too. Like, hit the like button, tell me I'm handsome, become a member, leave a comment. You know, you know how it is for, for us YouTubers. Yeah, the snap to roads things, being able to turn on and off is amazing. Let's go, people! It's like adult mode. Like, the game trusts you to make intelligence intelligent decisions for laying out your city. I like it. Get to work, lads. Also I'm, I'm curious about a, th a few things about the music. What changes the music in the game? Seasons? Does the, the, does the settlement size change the music too? I mean, because I know when building the tavern, Tavern Banger comes on. Best song ever. At least that's what I'm calling it. Seasons, yep. Settlement level as well as hunger and disease. Oh, yeah. See, some of those... I really wish my people would starve more. Because some of that high noon showdown music is great. When that bell tolls because somebody hungry. I love that. I want to play that song. Dude, I, chat. I was in my living room the other day with Castle Banger just blaring. <laughs> I opened all the windows of my house... I opened up YouTube on the TV and just had Castle Banger blaring while I was like making a sandwich. I'm just like making a turkey sandwich and it's just like, I mean, you know what it sounds like. Oh, I, I, I love that tinging noise. I feel like it should be from the blacksmith, but I do like when the the peasants are building. Alright, so we have three stoles to make now, and then I think we'll start building some more houses. And we gotta get some wood going now. You hope the soundtrack will be downloadable? Me too, dude. There should be like an ultra... There should be like an Oh Lordy edition. comes with the soundtrack. No, it just comes with a personal bard. It'll be like a $10,000 Mandalore's edition where a guy will show up 
and will like follow you around for a week just playing like uh, green sleeves and stuff. But all the lyrics will be modified to whatever you happen to be doing that day. Personally, I just want the chicken from uh, Robin Hood. You know, the Disney. You know, the chicken uh, walking around with the loot. You imagine Tavern, tavern Banger while rushing an objective in Azonzo. Whoa. That's, that's some deep lore right there. Deep lore. Woo. All right, well, I think everything's in place for us to get through our first winter. Now we play the waiting game. One day I'll hire my own personal sound effects guy. I mean, having the soundboard is fun, although some of these are ancient, you know. Correct. Wow, we have one firewood. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's actually turn off hunting with the hopes that some of those animals will, uh... Hopefully we'll find another deposit in the meat mines. Some black death. Yeah, I, I would like for some more, uh, disease for both crops and people and, and see how to manage that. But man, could you imagine managing all of that on this scale? You got like 19 regions or something to take care of? Like, whoa. Yeah, we're making firewood. It should be pretty good. I'm actually going to put somebody on the storage now. See if we can make sure they, they get that. Medieval version of the Cantina Band from theme from Star Wars. Oh, that would be a good one to listen to. Music is very nice in this game, though. It always seems so fitting. I'm almost uh, close to 70 hours in, and I'm not even close to bored of it. It's so good, I could just say more. Give more want. Monument buildings would be cool. I agree. You the man? Thank you, Alan. What's up, Amp? How you doing? Welcome back to the Big O stream, friendo. Do I think they'll implement multiplayer or co-op in the future? Uh, it would be cool, but I think that should be built onto a very solid single-player experience first. The foundation of this masterpiece is being laid. Putting in some rebar, making sure it's perfect. Make that solid before you build onto it. Make it solid. You got up to 300 plus population? Awesome. You must have been playing a long time. At this point, I've like... Sometimes I'll get 10 hours into a city and then I'm like, I want to restart now. And then I do. And it is fun. Uh, 
Uh, well, the developer was just in chat now talking about an update, which may or may not come today. So, um, if you have the game on Steam, it will automatically update for you if you have that turned on. So, you, if you have the demo downloaded, it'll update automatically. And there might be some patch notes or something, maybe. I'm not sure if you can do that for demos. But definitely follow the developer on Twitter for news and polls and more. Let's see how this goes. Oh, good. Fuel is good. Food is good. You know, honestly, the hardest start or the higher difficulty kind of forces me to slow down a little bit. Prevents a lot of things from becoming out of hand for too long. Happiness should go up, too, now that everybody's got everything they kind of wanted. Although, I don't think we're going to get food variety for a long time. We don't have berries. We'll have to start making... Um, Oh, we don't have tools either. Well, we'll have to make a tannery and then start trading. Already satisfied? Can't imagine the joy with the combat mechanic? Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Where can we trade? Over there. Uh, let's see. No, the hard, yeah, the hardest difficulty lets you start with two logs, just enough to build a lumber camp, and that's it. But we don't start with any tools either. Oh, we can build a farm. Yeah, we can just... We'll just import tools. It'll be way easier to buy two tools than, like, building the iron mine, bloomery, and blacksmith. It's, just, like, it's way easier to swing by the hardware store than it is to, like, build your own... <laughs> your own, like, factory. Come on, people! Get to work! All right, so we got a tannery, and then we wanted a trade depot... Yeah, that road system is so solid. So good. Um, trade for for trading post, which we have. Good. I guess we'll build that near our tr um, storage. Sturge. We want to try to not build over there. What's the uh, fertility? Okay, so farming there. There. So if we're going to build anywhere, it should be on this side. Oh, that looked nice. Okay. So 
then we wait for the trade. No Man's Sky also came out on the Switch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder how that is. Okay, firewood's good. Food is good. And then we're making... Building our... Thing. Tannery's got to go up next, then we can start trading, make that money, and then we'll start making chickens and goat thingies. The trader doesn't have to be directly on the main road to get trade from NPC traders. Um, the way I've seen it work is that the traders will go out to these little blue points, the trade routes, and when the trader, the trader has to walk there, and then when they touch the pole, they get money. They get like six coin per trip. I know there's traveling merchants that come around, but I don't know if they're the ones selling things. Like, usually the only thing I import is oxen and then sheep, but I usually don't build that on the road either. the music all right it's february we're very close to the um the march jan says awesome game you're playing good times good uh, you could trade with the traveling merchant but it's not much and more random oh Hmm. Yeah, I just feel like trade in this game kind of works magically. Like, I just set things up and hope it works, and then just money comes in. Capitalism, Smiley. You know, I call it passive income. I, don't, I call it cryptic currency, because I have no idea how it works. Beyond my beyond my understanding, but it works. Trust the system. Hey, Liam. I'm going to build a manor up here. I'm going to build a manor so hard. I'm going to be the lord of manor lords. I'll build the, the manor of all manor lords. It'll be the manor to outmanor all manors. And I will lord over other lords. I will call it Lord of the Manors. Very, very polite. Is that Canadians? Are they lord, lords of the manors? They're pretty polite. Taking my hill, shame. Oh, did you build up there too? Yeah, I built up here before. And I also tried to build up here before in this other region. Great spot here. Anywhere with a clip is just like prime real estate like I built up there I've uh, I've also spawned up here before and tried to build there's like a cliff here I think somewhere or wait or no maybe I tried yeah I tried to build like over here I think 
And then here, there's like a beautiful cliff here. Anywhere along here is nice. That's ridiculous. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is the manner in which my manor will make money? I'm just going to sell uh, merchandise in my merch store. Exclamation point merch. And maybe somebody watching will buy a mug or a hoodie. And You know, it's the... We're getting into the fall season. Crisp weather out there. It's stay nice and toasty. Maybe somebody watching will follow on Instagram. Exclamation point Instagram. Oh, by the way, uh, yesterday after our stream, I did um, a bi some big O giveaways in the Discord. So we'll have some more soon. Soon. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right now we have five potential taxpayers. Hey, it's slow in this mode, but it's it's worth it. You're currently building a tavern to upgrade the Burgage plot. I'm in October waiting to see the snow. You can import lambs too, instead of sheep. Wow, we made it to March. Imagine that. All right, no recent complaints, so. Uh, starts at 50%, ranges between 0 and 100, affects population growth speed, a militia combat effectiveness. Oh, happiness also affects combat effectiveness. I remember that. Can cause rebellion when it drops to zero. We'll see about that. This ain't no Star Wars. Hmm. Developer is saying you have to check limited trade only a few items when they pass the trading post. Up to think... Selling, I think, up to three and buying up to ten or something like that. It is randomized. Interesting. Did you do some combat? Well, I mean, you can kind of technically build a little, like, military base by building, like, a, a bailey fence and putting a tower in the middle of it. And it looks pretty sweet. Nobody's going to attack you when you got a sweet-looking base. Like, barbarians will show up in the game gargantuan armies will show up and when they're like oh dude that's a pretty sweet base we gotta leave then they'll leave and that's how manor lords is played it it's no warfare whatsoever it's just intimidation by building a sweet base <laughs> no the game will have combat the game will have combat just down the demo but it's primarily a city builder with rts attached to it but the whole goal is to build massive you know, amounts of cities and, like, intricate networks and such in order to build, you know, to, to support those armies, to keep them fed, to keep them running. Gotta pay them. Gotta give them armor. Gotta give them weapons. All right, let's see. Well, since we made it through the winter, let's slow that down. Speed that up. Oh, all oh, those berries over there. Did, bo did the my? I want to see uh, berry bushes migrate over into my border. Come on, come over here. Actually, I think somebody told me that if the berries are close enough to the border, you might be able to go and gather them. Maybe. I wasn't able to get it working with hunting. Nice, the animals are returning pretty good. 
I'm gonna wait till they fully return. Uh, yeah, at, at the start you get a random region, but the map is the same. So you get to start in... I, I've been able to start in, like, one of these four. The map is always the same. You might be able to start in more regions, but that's my experience so far. Alright, so it looks like Fritz is bringing down the... Uh... Oh, he's bringing logs to storage, which means that everything's been delivered. Good job, Fritz. Could build an animal trader, too. It does take two logs, so... I have zero likes. Nobody approves of me. Zero percent. I'm trying so hard. You should build some roundabouts. Helps with traffic. Bro, there are five people in this town. I don't even think two people pass each other in a day in this town. Dude, you need a high-speed rail line through your town. Like, oh, sure. Dude, high speed was like 20 kilometers back then. Tavern Banger will come on after we build the tavern. That's why I've changed the name to mark the occasion. Actually, I think it pops on when you're building the tavern. No, let's get the tanner tannery built first. I'm gonna turn off the wood cutter so we get more building going. But I still want Fritz to gather logs. Addicted to the game? Well, I get such limited time with it until possibly the 10th, so... It's pretty likely that it'll go away on the 10th. So after Monday, 
We'll take a break from it, and then for the next six months, I'll hear, dude, where's Manor Lords? Did you give up on Manor Lords? What happened to Manor Lords? Where's Manor Lords? Is that, was that your favorite game? Do you hate it now? Where's Manor Lords? Manor Lords, Manor Lords. Like, dude. Relax. Dude, you only played 60 hours. Did you hate it? You played 60 hours of the demo. You must have hated it, dude. Why is it your least favorite game? Why did you abandon it? You've changed. <laughs> you do that every time, chat. Now I think people are just joshing when they do it. They're just... They're just messing with me. Next, I'm going to have to build some more houses because we need more hands to do more work. Doubt I could fit a house there. Wow, I was able. To, wow, I'm able to fit a house there? No freaking way. Amazing, dude. Wow. That's impressive. I, di I didn't think I was going to be able to use that land. That is super. That is smiley face. We need to get back to hunting again. We need more workers here. I'm gonna assign two different ones. Yeah, more wood is needed. Well, luckily we got a little bit. All wood is needed. Two houses in there. I want them both to have extendos. and built. <laughs> Gotta get that tannery up. That's most important.
Bang bang. Jeez, the tannery takes longer than the Lord's Manor to build. Jeez. All right, instead of building more homes, we got to focus on building those. I could lay these out though and low, put them on low priority. playing it right now on the Wii? Wait, No Man's Sky? Having uh, one province, yeah. You can only do one in the demo. Okay, let's build those three. They should build that after they're done with the tannery and the livestock. Nice. Yeah, we're building a tanning bed. Medieval Europe had a lot of uh, tanning going on. People wanted to look like they were at the beach. Marketplace, not enough food variety. Marketplace, no fuel available. Gotta get those numbers up. We gotta get more people moving in. Of course, we need more homes first. Uh, yeah. Food supply, or rather, what the plots produce is not based on the size of the plot. So if you build a massive plot with, ex with an extension... Whether it's big or small, it, it, it's always the same. It just counts as like plus one. Music is so nice here. Yeah. What's up, Murtaza? Welcome. What outfit when you go TPP? You mean third person? Uh, it's always the same. It's just a dude in a red cloak. Just work in progress. So no matter who you pick in the upper right corner, it's always like... Looks like young Santa. Young Farquad, yeah. It's a good uh, rapper name. Lil, Lil Farquad. Young Farquad. Lil Young Money. 
Always seems to be one of those names. You have to be Lil Young or Money. Money, Lil Young. Will there be other types of civilizations and manor lords eventually? Good question. I'm assuming it'll mostly be based on medieval Europe. But, man, if there was a game like this that came out with feudal Japan or ancient China, Rome or Egypt, it'd be cool. Small money masook. That's oh, big money. Big money masook. Yeah, Sengoku Dynasty, yeah. But that's kind of more of a first third person city builder, is where this is on another level. But yeah, Sengoku will be fun. This game's getting me excited, though, to play Medieval Dynasty again, multiplayer, and it'll be cool to see what two or three or four people can do when building a city together, how quickly it can come together. That's just going to speed things up. Big money masook. this game fun oh I've, I've had a lot of fun just experimenting around with like the mechanics of the road building it's been nice to see that the building in this game feels like where we should have been years ago but it took a hero <laughs> to sit down and make it possible now, I feel like there sh still should be and will be grid style building games and such even city skyline still feels like a grid builder with just curve roads in it but i enjoy like how the curved road building works in um part of this frontier for example i like that and i feel like that's a good mid ground for both of those Still bringing over the building materials. Whew. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That is strange, actually. Huh. That was weird. Well, he's on assigned and bringing over logs because that's what this building needs before construction. So now, now all the logs have been delivered. So the only thing remaining is he's going to bring the oxen back, I think. Oh wait. Oh yeah, he's not. He's not doing it. All right, let's shut these down. Hold up on the house building. Let's up on the construction. 
He should be going here instead because this is made like a high priority. Actually, the trading post and the livestock trader now should be built next. Both are kind of equally important. We'll pause the other buildings, though. The houses are important, but no one's going to move in until we get that approval up. So with that, we're going to do trading, get money, and then buy settlement stuff. But since we're on a harder difficulty, things will just take longer. I'm really excited to produce more things in this game. I think it's really fun to be able to make clothing and make weapons and make things out of clay and then sell it. Pottery. I hope there's things like saddles and... Fabric will be cool to sell, linens. Beer. Imagine this, but in the Thirty Years' War period. Ooh, how long did that last? Wow, we got somebody to move in? No way. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, we only have five houses. Only two years. 30 years war only lasted two years? Damn. You just submitted your closed alpha application? Good, man. I hope you get in. Yeah, if you guys are in, uh, if you've played this demo or if you got into any sort of closed testing or whatever, make sure you just give tons of feedback to the developer. Take pictures, ask for features, tell them what you love. What you think could be better? What could change? Give them ideas. Could only do good. Could only help. But be encouraging and respectful. We need a lot more of that. More encouragement, more respect, more understanding and patience. But have faith. Because this is a fantastic sample of... I mean, this, is, this demo is free and I'm blown away. What would Jesus do? He'd probably spam the uh, jester emote in the chat whenever Tavern Banger came on. Probably. Good, now the building's taking place. Yeah, we just had to get all those logs dropped off. So now, we've got... The livestock trader and the trading post going up. Livestock... Getting another oxen just unlocks this game. It just, like... It just throws the door wide open. Uh, what do I do to get a building going fast? I unassigned everything... Uh, a bit from constructing and going quickly. Set hunting to allow unassigned. Um... You could turn up the priority, but buildings still need logs delivered, so... If you have one oxen, and a building takes, like, four logs, it's gonna take a while for that oxen to go back and forth. So just take a look at the bottom. If it says good transported like 4 out of 4 or 2 out of 2, that means the logs are in place. I think that's all it takes now for buildings to be built is only logs. So, unfortunately people can't transport the logs. You have to work, you have to pray, praise the Fritz. Hey, what's up Richard, Stacy? We're going to build these two buildings, and then we're going to start bopping up our town, making money, and then we're going to try to diversify our food. We've got to. Jonathan, you played the demo. Looks amazing. Good. Glad to hear. Glad you enjoyed it. Let's shut down hunting and put things into storage. 
Nope, no news on the release date, but the later the better, honestly. It, it's not fun being patient waiting for a game like this, but we're waiting for something good. But the later the better. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you want a building to construct faster, you could always, like, click on it and turn the, the construction number up to, like, 9. And they'll do that first. They work from the higher number. Buildings with the highest priority are built before others, so this will be, the, like, 9 priority. High number is good. Actually, so let's do 9, 8, 7... And then we'll just wait for them to get those numbers up. Hey, look at that! Approval now just skyrocketed to 39% from zero. Good. Let's set our numbers. Export leather. Down to five. Import oxen. We'll start with three, then we'll get employees in there later. No, no, day-night cycle, no. Yeah, we built a well. It's right here. Is that a bird? Huh. I didn't know there were birds in the game. Hi, burb. Wow. First time seeing a bird. Other than the chickens. I just considered... We should just call it chicken ore. It needs to be smelted in nuggets, you know? Yeah, you can walk around. If you click this little eyeball button up in the corner, you can literally walk around your town. You can run, too. And um, you can basically, like, wherever you put your camera, that's where you'll walk. So if you <coughs> if you want to look over your city, you can just, like, go up to a mountaintop. Just be careful not to fall, because there's fall damage. If you fall, If you fall from the cliff, you'll die, and... Like, the game will be over. So you don't want to... You know, Oh, God, no! Just kidding. There's no... I lied. There's no consequence for falling at all. You're fine. It's totally fine. You're a lord. Nothing, nothing can kill you. It's fine. And we can just chill out and watch some construction. Got him. Man, this game rocks. I've never seen any game try anything bolder than this. Just rock solid gameplay. We really shouldn't take this game for granted, though. Takes a lot of hard work. But 
be nice to the developer. Remember, no casting stones. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, isn't that sweet? Now, my hope is that eventually when you go into that third person mode, it would be really cool if you could go into battle that way. Like, jump onto a horse, equip a bunch of armor, have a sword, lance, spear, whatever. And just, like, be able to just fight. Be cool. Be really cool. Now, the cool thing about that mode, too, is that if you do that, like, every... Just, like, every spring or summer, like, take a walk through your town and just see how it's changed from the previous stroll. Because, like, right now, we're just, we're just building houses right now. Not much going on, but... It's like a lot of good things are happen happening right now. Can you dig a moat? I don't think so. I don't think there'll be any terraforming of any kind, aside from cutting down trees and then putting like a farm field there or something, but... You know, I kind of like that because you have to really find a good spot to build. And a lot of that's based on your, your farmland too, so like, the reason I'm building up here is because this is all farmland down here. So eventually what I could do is... You know, every time that you play the game, the uh, spawn is different for where fertility is, and also the same with the animals and the berries and stuff too. So it's it's kind of cool because every means every playthrough will be a little different, at least in terms of the demo. Even if you start in the same region, so you might lay out your town a little differently. Someone's watching from Iceland, dude. I got to go to Iceland. That'd be cool. Yeah, the, the darker the green, the higher the fertility. Although I'm still trying to figure out if you can... I'm pretty sure you'll be able to build a farm field anywhere. It'll still be fertile. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to build a farm field anywhere and then increase fertility. Like it'll just have bad fertility, like it'll just have a much lower yield. But honestly, like one farm field in this game with the highest fertility is, like, enough to feed, like, a thousand people. Like, it's crazy. I think it's cool. Alright, more houses getting complete. Excellent. And more free hands to do the work. Excellent, excellent. That means we're going to put somebody into the trading post. Try to get some money. Is there a Wendy's in Iceland? There better be. Otherwise, I can't go. But I wonder if I've only been to nations that have Wendy's. I'm going to make that my new travel policy. You want this game so bad? I know. Well, you can play the demo. What, what I'm playing right now is free and open to the public. This is... Yeah, everybody gets the same version if you download this on Steam. Developer did hint today that there could be an update coming, but it's unlikely. And it is very likely that this will be over on Monday, too. Confirmed by the developer in chat, so... It's a... I'd say it's probably a 95% chance that this won't go past Monday. What is a Wendy's? Uh, it's this building. It's a place of our people. You can't make that policy. Can, can never come here anymore. Oh, is there not a Wendy's in the Netherlands? That's fine. You can just cross the border to Belgium. You can just come to me. Like, I'll hang out on the Belgian, uh, Dutch border and just, like... I mean, what we could do, Thurston, is we could just set up a big old table and you can sit on the Dutch side and I'll sit on the Belgian side or whatever. If Belgium has a Wendy's. Otherwise, I'll just sit out in the ocean. Or I'll just float out in the ocean. How, what, however the international waters thing works. I'll figure it out. Not seeing any in the UK. Hoglad, our uh, Harry, our lovely friend from Southwest, 
UK is, uh, is it has confirmed there's a Wendy's near him. Oh man, houses are getting built, baby. You have a KFC, Pizza Hut, and Domino's. Good. Oh, yeah, we're building another house. And a firewood stall and a clothing stall. Good, good, good. Nine Wendy's in the UK. Okay, well, I can go. Approved. Japan, I know, has Wendy's for sure. I've been in a Japanese Wendy's. I almost cried. No, I did cry. I'm not going to lie to you. Broke down in tears. I was escorted out. But they treated me like royalty. They called me, Sir, this is a Wendy's. Very kind, the Japanese. Very kind. Marcus, welcome aboard, dude. Is a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. No Wendy's in the EU? Oh. I see Europe has chosen tyranny. Green eyes in the chat, yeah. Now it's when the trouble begins. Come on, people. Get to work. Get to work, lads. We need more men at the camp. We need more food. That's what we need. Although, we're okay. We need more. Thanks. Wanted to give a little back for the great content. Thank you again, Marcus. Very kind. Welcome to the Big O stream. It's a stream that's Big O. Oh, nice thing about the granary, too, is that upgrading it is super cost-effective. Provides one extra handcart, too. I think they limit the length of play on the demo if you're in Europe. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's a time limit in the demo. Fifty-five leather? Oh boy, that's going to take a long time to sell. Shut that down. Going into another winter. Let's make some firewood. You only got ten minutes of play and then it said end of demo, work in progress? What? For this game, Manor Lords? Ten minutes? No way. I'm playing the demo right now. It, what? <laughs> Do 
You get the same message after one hour? What? Yeah, there'll be warfare in this game. I'm not sure how long it takes for uh, sheep to mature, to, uh, lambs to mature to sheep. Okay, now we have enough money for an oxen. How many granaries can, can you upgrade? You can upgrade all the granaries, but only once. They only have one upgrade in the demo. Making good money now. I want another oxen first, though. home constructions. What's up, Joshua? Things are going well. Yeah, the way houses that were built and stuff are crazy. Yeah, the the developer is asking on Twitter for everybody to vote on whether they want the church to be like a building like this, or if it should be more like uh, organic and stuff. I think this is probably like the. If you build it maybe a little bit bigger, it would be good for maybe fitting like a cemetery, but. I don't know if there's plans to build like a sep like a graveyard separate from the church, which also would make sense. Or maybe the option to do like if you make the church big enough, maybe the graveyard or something could be incorporated into the church, otherwise you could build it across town or somewhere else. Yeah, upgrade it to a cathedral or just leave it as a small church. Oftentimes, make those decisions like in Foundation where you have like a small church and then build a second bigger one that upgrades to a cathedral eventually. Alright, let's keep cutting down trees, clear that land, baby. All right, we have two oxen now. Fantastic. Fritz and also Fritz. Wow. Let's do Klaus. Is it important to rotate crops? Very much so, yeah. It'll help to keep their fertility for a lot longer. If fertility dips, you can always, like, shut a field... <coughs> sorry, shut a field down and just turn it on to, like, repeat follow and then just have a second field. So you can always, like, do a manual rotation where you do, like, farm one field for a while and then turn it off and then just switch between the two, which is super helpful. Super helpful. Bum, 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 bum. Let's 
So we're gonna build the church there, but not till later. And we're gonna keep building houses, but food is a little a little low, but we're okay. Although if I build a few more homes, we could make them into hunters, so that'd be fine. Uh, at the moment, the game does not have animals that you can feed from your farming, so hopefully in the future there will be something like, you know, like having to harvest grain for, like, the chickens and for pigs or something. Or, of course, for cattle. And having them, like, fertilized by grazing on those lands. A few homes here too. Yeah, the for yeah, okay. Although that's kind of on a slope. Man, you can really squeeze them in. And we have two oxen still, okay. Oh, we have a bunch of coins, so time to start spending. <laughs> yeah, the seasonal transitions are very solid. Yeah, you can import your own logo into the game if you want to. The dev tweeted out how to do it, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. I'm also lazy, Smiley. <laughs> You're not looking forward to seasonal transitions, IRL? Yeah. Standing by. Now we just wait for houses to build, Smiley.
You're going to be standing by on Sunday, too? Jerry, aren't you going to be here tonight for a mandatory stream of uh, Barotrauma, free available down on Steam until Monday? And also tomorrow, Marauders with, like, Yumi, Lumberjack, and, like... It, well, pretty much anybody wants to join, we could switch out if somebody gets busy or something. Jerry is standing by. It'd be hilarious if Jerry was actually standing right now while he's typing that. Don't lie to me, Jerry. You have to stand while you type it, otherwise it's a lie. Yay, Marauders, yeah. Yeah, we enjoyed that game. The bad timing though with like Manor Lords and a million Steam demos coming out. Boys, I've been trying to cover everything. If you check the channel, by the way, there are a bunch of other demos that uh, have been free on Steam for the last week, so. And I'm going to be putting up a video later today that's like, um... A lot of people have been referring to this game as, like, Total War City Builder. Like, the city building is definitely city building. It's phenomenal. And it also has, like, Total War type troop commands. But the game that I'm about to play later today, I'll put up a video shortly, is like... It's like a modern Total War, but, like, it's like Arma... Mountain Blade and Total War all in one. So it's like modern militaries where you can build units and troops and stuff and then you can actually take command of an individual soldier or tank and then like command those forces. If you remember games like uh, Free Man Guerrilla Warfare, it's kind of like that. So we'll, we'll take a look at that a little bit later today. Now it's like a modern warfare game. It takes place in like southern Europe. It's, but it's just like made up countries. Like real equipment, just made up factions and stuff just fighting for fun jerry has a new chair impossible really wow captain on de he's got the captain's chair jerry dro specifically drives a van just so he can have the captain's chair in the van awesome 52 dollars to drive two blocks but damn it it's worth it okay um we got 12 coin, 4 unassigned families. Let's keep going for firewood for sure. Logs are good. Um, food, food, food. Get those farms rocking and bopping. You know, honestly, maybe... Th so the hardest difficulty has the hardest start, but... In, in retrospect, it actually is a lot easier because it forces me to slow down a little bit. Think a little bit more about my layouts and stuff. Maybe. I wonder how many people can join us in uh, Arrow Trauma. Stream team, you know what to do. Yo! Scroobius with the big O eight months as a Raptor Plus. Thanks, dude. Uh, thanks for all the amazing gameplay you introduced me to some of my favorite games. See everyone in a few months, Raptoria Forever. Oh, good. I, I hope you're going somewhere great, man. Hope good things are happening to you, man. Membership milestone. Congrats, dude. New member, welcome. This community is awesome because there's so many active people. Whether somebody's been here for like a month or like two years, it's like new member, welcome. Yeah, like Thurston with the 33 months. Dear God, man, three years. Dear God. Yeah, it feels like Thurston just got here like last winter. Feels like just yesterday that we were playing Eco. Like Thurston. I want you to dig out this tunnel all by yourself. Can you do that, Thurston? Remember, welcome. Sure. Probably. Yeah, Crane Boy over here. Oh! Congratulations, uh, Indrid Cold. You now have the uh, the fancy blue silver eye. I don't know what we're going to call that, but that's Big O. 
I gotta worry about... I gotta figure out if I'm gonna do something different for that. Wow. It's kind of hard to see the silver backing and the, uh, the gold backing for 36 months and 48 months. Those are like the two end goal eyes. Like, if, if you've been a member for 36 months or, like, 48 months, that's, like... Like, blue eye is crazy, but, like, 36, 48 is, like, damn. If you watch this channel enough, with all the gift bombs that chat drops, it's probably a, only a matter of short amount of time until somebody gets gifted, like, 36 months of uh, member bombs and is actually able to get, like, over two years of support that way. That'd be crazy. Castle? Yeah, if we build a castle, it'll be a, kind of our manor, and it'll be up here. So it's like the most castle-y, not castle you can build. It's kind of a castle, you know. You want your new eye? It looks... Do you not have it? It looks like you had it to me. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, maybe it's next month, because YouTube always lies and says you're like... Like you've got more months than you've actually been a member, or something like that. Whatever. However that works... Whatever. Well, anyway. Soon. Soon. Reaper with the seven months. Hey, chat. Hey, Raptor. Hey to you, dude. Thanks for being a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome to the big O. Grim. All right, we got three oxen now. Perfect. All right, let's shut this down for now. All right, now the game really opens up. Like, having... Three oxen is crazy. I would like to have more, but we're going to use that money for other things now. <clears throat> so now we can get construction and transportation of logs done like three times as fast. So how are we doing on tannery? Don't need that. El Polo Loco. See? Soon isn't soon enough. It's a purdy eye. Yeah. Well, we'll look into, like... I kind of wanted to redo the eye system, but... I think it's really confusing how it works on YouTube, by the way. I feel like it should just be, like... One, it should be, like, new member, and then six months, a year, then two, three... Whatever, though. I'm sure YouTube will change it sometime in the future. When we least want them to. Oh, we do need to start buying tools, but I'm just going to save money for the farm fields and <coughs> farm fields and stuff. Actually, we could we could buy some tools. We do want some veggie gardens. Plus that helps with food variety, which gets happiness up too. Right now it's just nothing but meat. Going loco down in Alcapoco. That's a place, right? El Capoco? Damn, that's a lot of houses. Not going to build those yet, though. That would not be good for our food. Three idle people. Two in the granary, two in the storehouse would be fine. Feel like we need another trade depot. More. More trade is needed.
Yeah, if somebody's on a sign, they'll still find something to do. Like, I think they'll lead the oxen full time. I don't know. But they're not on a sign for long. We'll need more people soon. Oh, my fu- I mean, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, the hell? Um, gift bomb emotes in the chat. Uh, thanks to somebody named, let me get this name right, Jerry Bananas with the 50 gift bomb. Wow. Thanks, dude. I guess. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. Also, I guess I'll throw one of these in for free, I guess. Wow. That, that, is, that is crazy. It, the, man, the man is out of control. Wow. Somebody come get him. Thank you, Jerry. What did you miss? Um, uh, Swiss Miss. Hey, chat, what are the names of those? You know those little, um, the, like the little Debbie snack cakes that are like a, it's like a chocolate roll, but there's like a swirl in the middle. What are, are those called like Swiss cakes or something? What are those called? Are those called Swiss rolls or what? what are those things? Adam, Chad has tried to answer that question for you about three or four times now. It's called a Swiss roll? Okay. It is a Swiss roll. Okay. Note to self, get a Swiss roll. Yuri has now made me hungry. In, in a sort of Kevin, eight degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Raptor, I have news. I'm at the hospital. I just had my daughter born. Glory to Raptoria. Thought I'd let my favorite YouTuber community know. Wow, Iron Zombie, congratulations. Wow. A brand new Raptorian. Fantastic. Thanks for letting us know. Congratulations, dude. Very awesome. Jerry loves Swiss rolls. Really? Oh, good. We have so much in common. Jerry. Actually, speaking of bananas, don't they also have like a weird banana cake thing? It always just makes me think of a twin. It's like a Twinkie, but just banana flavored. Like they got lazy with that one. It's like, dude, we invented this thing called Twinkies. It's like a vanilla cake. Oh, sweet, dude. What are we going to do? Uh, let's do a banana flavor thing. What should we do? Um, twi um, ban uh, tw ban um, Baninkies. Oh, dude, it's like, it's a banana flavored Twinkie. It's like, okay. This is like Medieval Dynasty. Yeah, a lot of the houses and stuff remind me of Medieval Dynasty. Although I've never really built a, uh, man, it would be cool in Medieval Dynasty if you could actually build a house and then the little plot around it. But in Medieval Dynasty, everybody just works on a farm. But this game, the, like how the buildings look and kind of feel and operate reminds me a bit of it. Okay, we need more firewood. Why do we have a shortage? 
I guess winter is just over, but it is March. We should have way more than this. Anyway, congratulations to all you who were just gifted memberships. Again, uh, gift bomb emotes in the chat anytime that happens. And make sure you uh, message, uh, send a nice little thank you to Jerry for his kindness. Thank you as always. Hope you're doing good. Can't wait for the game to get more features. This feels great so far. I agree. You like the unicorn Twinkies? They're pretty good. I'll oh, play. They just rainbow color everything nowadays and call it rainbow, rainbow flavored. It's like, what? Not even a flavor. What's up, caveman? Good to see you. Eighty-five bucks, but no tools yet. Import only five. Oh well, we can make it pass with chickens. Chimkins and goats. This will be the chicken district. Hearing that chicken like that always reminds me of the Cadbury egg commercials when they have the little chicken dress up as an Easter egg. I mean, an Easter bunny. Or just a bunny, I guess. Say what you want about uh, Halloween. I, th I think Easter has some more, su much more superior chocolate treats. How are you making money? Um, I have a trading post and I have people trading leather. I'm, tr I'm trying to get our people to sell leather, which sells for the most amount, it seems. Damn, firewood is low. Let's go, people. Wait, not the granary. We need more work, you see. Alright, time to make another firewood cutter, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I guess we could build a firewood cutter down here. In this pretty valley. I wish there was some... I think we built a farm down here before. It's really cool to build on, like, a, a slope like that. Wish we could do a winery or something. Bum, bum. A winery would be awesome. I agree. Be nice, I guess. So we'll need a few more people to work at the firewood cutter. Wow. Any farms? Um, soon. We need to get our population numbers up a bit before that. Before we can really transition to a farm, we got to make sure all these, pretty much all these houses can be individual farms. Like you can have people take care of chickens and goats, eventually farm vegetables. And then when we get that population up, actually what we got to do is figure out where to put a, uh, 
a mill. I think we'll put like a windmill up here or something, cut down all the trees around it. Can you trade bricks in the trade post? Uh, not at the moment, but there will be clay and uh, it looks like there'll be some sort of bricks in the future. Some of the burgage plots, I'll just call them burger plots, the burger joints, <laughs> they require bricks in order to further upgrade. Which is cool. Luckily, the game doesn't have bears. You know, I do wish, though, that it had wolves and bears and stuff to fight. Like, you could eventually send out your army to deal with small menaces, like, you know, bears and wolves that would attack your city. I like how far this frontier kind of does that. Bears, my ultimate nemesis. Yep. The goal today, I really want to build that manor up there on the hill, but if anything, it'll be a miracle if we can build the tavern. And have ourselves the banger. Well, we certainly want to build our houses like that for sure. We want to get that population up for the farm. We probably need like 14 people farming, maybe one or two people in the windmill, and then like. I think the bakery holds two each. You definitely want like two communal ovens slash bakeries. I hope we can make some like tasty treats in this game in the future. Pies, for example. Oh, man. Could you imagine being able to make, like, cherry... I mean, we have berries and stuff in the game. Imagine making a berry pie. Wow. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, thanks, Levi, for being here. Welcome. Yeah, I need to get a bear rug. Yeah. I should try to do, a commu like, a charity boxing event against a bear. Like, just put a muzzle and some boxing gloves on a bear, and me and a bear just tough it out. Raise money for bear awareness. Just make sure everybody's aware that bears exist, that's all. Like, one in ten people don't know about bears. Beware the bear. We're gonna build our church up here, which is gonna look beautiful. Then I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna leave these trees here to kind of separate the town from the eventual, uh, the eventual uh, farm plots down there, or whatever. Okay, let's clear that area out. I feel like we could do some more farming down here and clear out this land. I mean, logging. Things are going real nicely now. Raptor versus bear would be long enough for a short. Hmm. I try to be nice to you guys. I try. Let's get to work! That tree was dead anyway. Gone under 60 seconds. Yeah, shorts are like 16 to, uh, uh oh. Shorts are like 15 to 60 seconds or something. Okay, we need to hunt over there. We are dangerously low on food. 
I tried to import hammers so we could get more gardens. We have a bunch of cash, but no food. Yeah, 60 seconds is the limit. I don't know, man. Like, when YouTube started, you could do YouTube shorts. Like, nothing stopped you from uploading, like, a two-second video. It was just YouTube's algorithm that preferred longer stuff. And then when the... When the viewership voted against that and wanted to watch shorter stuff, YouTube was like, No, you will watch what we tell you. And then TikTok blew them out of the water. And they're like, No, we're still cool. Come on, come on back. Oh, look, we have a, a rock garden now. All right, we certainly need a lot of chickens, so let's do that. Hopefully that helps kick back the food a little bit. Good, good. Silverback gorilla versus brown bear, who do you win? Oh wow. question. A sweet base up there, bruh. Get people working there. Clear that area out a little bit. Then we can put a forestry building down there. Regrow those trees. Yo, Connor, thanks for the five. When am I going to start doing streams in 4K quality? So YouTube has a limitation to its latency based on 4K. So if I start streaming in 4K, there has to be like a almost like a 30 second delay or so. And I like to have the uh, ultra low latency in the stream. So when YouTube permits um, higher quality and lower latency, I think we can look into that a bit. Plus a lot of games still don't really offer 4K oftentimes too. So a few games could take advantage of that. But it, I feel like it'd be a little bit of a disadvantage with the chat. Um, but I mean, it's certainly possible now, but I feel like in time it'll be a little bit more beneficial. Like, we stream in ultra low latency, was, which is like 5 seconds. Standard latency is like 10, I think, which feels like a lifetime. Because if you think about it, like, it takes 10 seconds for what I'm saying to, like, it would take 10 seconds for what I'm saying or doing to get to you guys. And then you, it would take a few seconds to, like, get back. So it's like a quarter of a minute doesn't feel live, you know what I mean? Plus, uh, my internet provider is a bit of a turd, Comcast, you know. And unfortunately, if I was to get better internet, I, I literally have to move... I would literally have to go somewhere out, like, pur purchase a new home to go live somewhere else to get away from this archaic, evil, empire-like corporation that needs to be liquidated into the annals of history. But, 
you know, we'll see. Thanks, dude, for the five. Burner. If you're trying to upgrade your plot, you need to make sure all these things are green. There's a few tutorials on the channel, so just make sure you check out those tutorials. If you're looking to upgrade your houses and quote-unquote beat the game. There's kind of a way where you can beat the demo where you can, um, you know, finish all the goals that pop up in the side. But there's truly no end. You know, you can just keep building forever so long as you can support the population with food. Hopefully we can buy more hammers now. Hammers and nails, ladies. Hammers and nails. Yeah, we really just, just need one guy at the tannery. The tannery is super effective at how fast it can make leather. Crazy. Yeah, I used to have fiber, and then I, I wanted to... I wanted to move, and so when I did, it was like, oh no. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's do it. Koalas are easily the toughest bear they su survive in Australia. Hmm, you're right. point. Yeah, imagine basing basing how like where you move based on trying to avoid Comcast. Like 80% of the country is off limits. Be like a refugee trying to escape. But if we could just go ahead and get started with getting rid of EA and Comcast, we'll make the world a better place. Cutting down. Check the fertility. Ooh, very good fertility in that forest. Wow. Well, but Comcast is amazing. Well, that's a comment coming from somebody whose name is sarcastic in the chat, so I'm assuming you're being sarcastic. Good. You're living up to your name. I like it. Chat's getting smart with their comedy. Yeah, I mean, if it's your only ISP, that's one thing. But we need, we need competition. Comcast sounds like a failed console idea. No, leave that to Google with their Stadia failure. What they should have did with Stadia is they should have tried to partner with YouTubers and be like, hey, we're going to give you a bunch of <clears throat> you know, free games and stuff and you can promote Stadia that way. And they should have did more. They should have did more through Stadia where like if you had a YouTube account and you were active on YouTube as a viewer, you could get like a free game a month or something through Stadia and just play it on your browser. Like it was all server based. There was no reason why it shouldn't have why it should have failed. Anybody with like a Chromebook should have been able to play like, I don't know, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn or something with no problems. But YouTube has this tendency to get unlimited amounts of money and then just be like, what? I 
<laughs> like that that's YouTube, dude. That's YouTube, that's Google. I hope they pay me an infinite amount of money for a project, and then I'll just be like, yeah, I don't know what happened, dude. As I'm pulling away on my golden yacht. Yeah, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> Actually, doesn't Google have a... Um, don't they have a, a internet service? Google? Isn't it called, like, Google Fire or something? Or... What's it called? No, no, no. Not their browser. They're... Like, they, they offer an internet service. Like, a... Don't they offer, like, a... Fiber optic line or something? I thought it was like Google... Google Fire or something? Google Fi? No, not Firefox. Oh my god, chat. Yeah. Can't take you anywhere. Google Fi, I just Googled it. Oh, oh, it's Google Fiber, but they abbreviated it to Fi. Google Fi is their wireless carrier? Okay. So if you get like a Google Pixel, then you get Google Fi? That makes sense. <laughs> LM Mayo, you're using Semper Fi? Okay. Well, carry on. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Anyway, anything's better than Comcast. Even if you somehow take a shoelace over to your neighbor's house and plug it into their, like, electric socket and it starts a fire, that's better than Comcast. Like, ten steps above. I'm gonna make a... if When I move and or when Comcast goes bankrupt, I'm just gonna make a video. It's just gonna be me, like... Living up at, you know, like how in the medication commercials, people are just living their best life. They're going kayaking, skiing, ski doing, surfing, living life on the beach, playing volleyball, doing some sick jumps on a BMX bike. That's how I'm going to live life. Ebiz with the five months saying, thanks, Jerry, banana, banana, banana. Thanks, dude, for the, uh, the message prayer. All right, so we're working on getting more food. The animals are low, so we gotta change over to. If you have internet issues, put up a BBB report. They contacted you the other day. Yeah, well, it's interesting, you know, Comcast won't do anything until you're like, yeah, I'd like to cancel my service. Oh, dude, we'll give you a thousand months free. Please don't switch. Like the introductory rate scam where it's like, dude, we'll pay, w dude, for the first six months, you owe us a quarter of a penny. Like, literally get out some pliers and, like, chop a penny into a quarter and send it to us in the mail. But then after six months, it's like, yeah, $900. Introductory rate's a scam, because it's more like, long. we've done some research to find out how long people will pay attention to their bill until they forget about it. And since most things are auto-pay, good, good. That's like how, um, you know, it's like uh, planned obsolescence and how, uh, what are they called, whatever warranties... 
whatever they call those warranties. 90 day money back warranties. It's like, okay, well then we'll make the product last 91 days and then burst into flame. It literally explodes like uh, Dr. Claw's computer when he has to escape yet another base after Inspector Gadget f gets to the bottom of why he's stealing all the Mona Lisa's or something like that. Everything's got a self destruct mode. Like, dude, I was using my hammer the other day and it exploded. Like, why? Oh, dude, 90 day warranty was up, day 91. Literally melted. <laughs> Uh, if only we could build medieval homes. Now that's quality right there. Hey, what the hell? Oh, no. Well, we don't have a game crash, but for the first time, you guys have been telling me everybody's, everybody's standing around. Is that an F? Oh, no. What if I delete this building? Uh oh. <laughs> Try on assigning roles and reassigning them. Okay. Could be a, uh, could be an F. Uh, oh, the fire would make her down here. Well, that might be why they're standing around. Um, chat, the game was off pause. Watch. The game is paused right now where it says game paused at the top. Now when you hear the noise playing and trees blowing around, that means it's on paused. Three, two, one, on pause now. You see how these people are standing around? They're all going to die then because they're not getting food. Is there an emer- can I get them to boop? Ma'am. You're the only one to save the town. Ah, oh, it was like a weird... Okay, it was like a broken-ass construction site. Alright, we're good. Oh, it, is, it was something to do with the construction site. Oh my god, we saved it, boys. Dubs in the chat. We need more workers here. Saved. It was just a weird construction site. Hey, give us a hand over here. Woo! Okay, we're good. Wait, no, just one. Come on, people. That's well, gonna hurt the food quite a bit. Hopefully, we can fix that. Let's see if we can redo those homes.
Okay, let's see how that goes. Alright, well... I'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure that's not a problem anymore. I thought we were dead to death. Yeah, <clears throat> dead to death is the worst. You don't want to die to death. Not renaming the region to Raptoria. Uh, I'm superstitious about doing anything in this game now. We need more hammers, though. I want to make some more vegetable uh, gardens. We're going to cut down this whole forest here for farming and for the windmills. Don't have to assign people to the uh, stalls, but let's just do it. Okay, we gotta wait for those animals to come back. Is it eggplant season yet? Uh, it's pumpkin spice latte season. PSLs. Okay. I feel like we should build another trader. Let's see, Emmer, Flax, or Harley. More oh, trade is needed. Oh, look at that rain. Pretty. What's up, North Gaming? How you doing? Welcome. What is third person used for in this? Ah, eh, just for looking cool and walking around at the moment. But there's some good possibilities for more cool stuff.
We will need to buy tools if we're going to start farming, so... We gotta hope for more of that. 43 th eggs, 38 milk. Gotta get them veggies. Eighty-six leather. We can make more leather with one person working at the uh, tannery than like eight people can sell by trying to walk to the border. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade the. Uh... Unfortunately, we can't upgrade the uh, trade depot. Although it does have an upgrade. Pumpkin spice dessert pizza. Wow. Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Town looks nice. Yeah, we need to farm meat. Yeah. Well, now now we've got the um, hunters shut down, so we're going to try to wait for these to return to 40. You can overhunt, and they will disappear, so you don't want that to happen. Um... Well, at least we got lots of good uh, firewood. That's good. Nice. Your Steam download button won't work. Um, maybe shut down or restart Steam or contact Steam directly. Tech support might be able to help if they can't, uh, if it doesn't like kind of remedy itself from giving it the old restart. Amazing how in 2021 that still works for like almost everything. All right, boys, get selling. We're gonna make a bunch more cash, then we're gonna start buying uh, more tools. That'll make us some money. We almost got 300 coin. Boom, boom. Okay, so now let's do importing only. We'll buy a bunch of hammers. Bunch of. We're gonna buy a bunch of hammers. We need them. Luckily, I'm pretty sure the goats and chickens continue to make food year-long, too. And you can hunt year-long, too. The only thing that's seasonal is your vegetable farms, your farming in general, and the berries. Which is nice. Yay, we bought a hammer.
Nice. Yeah, in order to build the tax collector, you need to build the, uh, the... You can actually build it, but you have to, uh, build the... Manor first. We're getting close to doing that. And we're going to probably build the farm now. Where can we build it? Alright, so we'll probably build it like down here. Probably need more than one. Try to minimize our tree uprooting. And it looks like it's going to be bad no matter where we build it. Five's pretty good. Let's get to work. All right. Barley, wheat, and flax. Yeah, we can only do emmer and, uh, well, emmer for food, which means uh, regular wheat. But then the, um, barley could be used as, uh, beer. There should be rye in the game, too. Rye looks like it's going to be hardy. You'll be able to build it almost anywhere. Okay, let's take a look at fertility again. I'm probably going to build a windy road right through to the iron ore mine. Elevation here? Not really. You built four wells, and the game's still telling you you need wells. Um, that's interesting. Actually, let me build this in reverse. Yeah, I've not seen that problem before. the mine. Let's get to work. Kind of. If I build it like that. Let's get to work. I want that opening facing downwards. Let's 
Hard to tell what side will be the open side. Now we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably build two fields, yep. We'll probably build more than that, and then we'll probably build our windmill up here. We'll have a group cut down trees up there. How do you get stone? You don't really need it. It's not really something you can trade much or do much with. It's really much better to do... Um, it's just much better to do, like, trading of uh, leather and stuff. Ooh, lots of good tools now. Excellent. Chickens... Ah, food's going to be fantastic. <laughs> nice. Yep, there'll be combat in the game. Um, Farm is almost active, so next year we'll do stuff with that. Uh-oh. Couple of boys standing around again. Yeah, the stream quality, YouTube will, uh, I've noticed that too. Like, when I go to watch a video lately, everything just drops to 360p, even when the video's clearly loads and everything in 1080p. Should be just fine. Don't trust the Susan. Fight for your right for HD. Which is more like standard def now.
Oh, right. We, gotta, we can only do four connecting points. Yeah, guys, YouTube can only... is barely making ends meet, guys. They're only making infinity dollars. How about another ad? Yeah, I agree. Uh, you should be able to build as many points as you want, especially for the fields. Uh, a game that does that pretty well is the uh, Viking uh, Land of the Vikings game, where they do allow you to like build an interconnected field with many points like that. We're building so many fields too, so that way we can kind of do a little bit of our own crop rotation. We'll start with four though. So let's do an Emmer year, follow, follow. Emmer year. No, follow year. Emmer follow and then follow. Emmer. So this should be field one, then field two, then field three. Boom, boom, boom. Works good. Why two years of follow instead of just one? So the idea is going to be this. Each year, one of these fields will be working. So it'll be this field first, then next year this field, and then the third year this field, which will give these fields two years of recovery. And I've noticed that fertility in this game seems to drop really quickly, and there's no real way to replenish the fertility, like having cow, you know, cows graze on it for their manure to be able to fertilize it, or to use night soil people to take you know, like literally human waste and compost and stuff and dump it onto these fields to increase their fertility either. So there's a few things missing from it. So if you do three fields for every crop type, you don't have to do it. Um, especially with like flax, you can get away with two. You can make like a bunch of flax and then just store it. Most things in this game don't um, go bad either. They won't spoil. So you can get away with a ton of, uh, ton of stuff. with storing a lot of stuff. Oh, we got our iron mine up there. Nice. And in the next year, we're going to get 40 animals, hopefully. All right, let's clear out a little bit of land for our windmill. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of like the farthest frontier tactics, yeah. We could build a logging mill up here, too. Hell of a lot of trees. We can always move this later. We'll be building our manor up here. Alright, let's speed up time. And we need more people in that town so we can do more farming. Sass pits are needed, yeah. Twitch hot tub streams, yeah.
need some more homes. Or we could probably take some uh, labor away from like the trades. We've got seven tools and yeah, let's do that. We're about ready to make our own tools anyway. All right, good, we'll get those people on farming. Actually, we only need like half. All right, let's build those communal ovens. Oh, we should also build the church. How long does it take for a year to pass in the gameplay? Uh, good question. I guess it depends on what speed you're playing. Not entirely sure. Oh, we need to do the brewery too. Oh, baby. Should we build that tavern, chat? We gotta build that tavern. You know what that means. You know what that means. Let's go, people! Okay, uh, we should probably upgrade one of the granaries then, because we're going to have a lot more food. And we got to get that land cleared for the uh, windmill. Matthew Shepard's having a nice lunch. Good. We'll build the tavern first, and then we'll do the reverse for it. Which means the production chain. Well, since the tavern is going to be a, such a public gathering place we could put it along the main road too uh, we'll build it like that pretty Come on, people. Get to work. yay tavern banger time means we're going to get some good music, chat. Good music coming. Sixty-one leather, we'll never be able to trade it all. Okay. Is there a desirability factor? It seems like there will be eventually. I see like a there's like a overlay for smell, so I mean that might certainly add to
what would you call it, uh, dissatisfaction? Or approval, maybe? Something like that. How do you get sheep? You'll need to buy them from the livestock trading post. Then you can get sheep and lambs here. But you'll need to sell something in order to get money. So you'll need to also build a trade depot. There's some tutorial videos on the channel. On how to do all that stuff if you'd like to watch. Almost tavern time. Tavern banger is going to pop off. Good. Well, actually, we should build it right here. That looks like a high point right there. Almost time for the windmill. Almost time for the windmill. All right, now where's the barley gonna go? Ah, we could do it down here. Yeah, I think that's the, oh wait, there's more here. We don't need much barley, so we can get away with like two years of it. We'll see. Maybe we can keep it under one farm. We don't even have to do flax if we don't want to. We could just get away with sheep. We don't have to do all three types. Alright, so the windmill's going up. One mill efficiency here will only be 65%, but when the trees are cut down around it, it'll go up. Uh, wrap you up for a load screen tip. You can plow the field in the old year, so you have a quick harvest in the new year, but the, this consumes workforce. Oh, you mean the early harvest button? Looks like we'll be able to do plowing with animals in the future, too. Plowing with the oxen will be 
powerful, powerful. Okay, communal ovens are looking great. Ah. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, Plowerful, that's right. <clears throat> that is correct, Plowerful. Go out of pelts for a while, but we can, we can definitely sell what we've got. Those numbers are looking great on the animals, coming back up to 40. Very nice. Yeah, the dev is a G. Oh, if you employ people in November, they'll plow the fields. Yeah, I, I think that's how it works in... Like, post-harvest plowing is a thing. And then being able to use it again in the next year. Tam, can we get a five minute on that one? That's heavy despo. Oh, I didn't want to delete the whole road. Bruh. Wow. I just wanted to delete that little... Wow. Bread. Actually, now that most of these trees are gone, we can build the road a little nicer. Oops. Oh, we could actually connect it this way. Oh, well, that's a much gentler slope right there. That's nice. Ah, much better. Oof. Well, not that bad. You love this kind of game? Me too. Me too. All right, well, we could unlock the church, and that'll give us access to the uh, administrative buildings. Yeah, we have three uh, oxen. We can get more, though. Let's get to work! Nice. Developer was in the chat today and confirmed that there may be an update today, but it's extremely unlikely. 
But I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. Oh, now we're at like 72% efficiency. This will probably increase as the trees are removed around it. We'll keep uh, milling up there. Yeah, Manor Lords was in the chat earlier. Slavic magic, yeah. He's dropped in a few times. Yeah, there's trading tutorials, animal tutorials all on the channel. Make sure you uh, check out some of those tutorial sections. What to build, how to do it, where to find it. All the secrets will be revealed. Damn, this town looks nice. Amazing town I make? Uh, yeah. Somehow they work out. So as soon as the church is done, it will upgrade our town level and unlock the manor. And then we can start constructing that. That'll be fun, smiley face. Is purdy. Ah, construction on the windmill is complete. Oh, too bad you can't see its efficiency. After it's done, ah, it'll, it's at 70. It'll probably increase to at least 95, more than likely, with those trees gone. Yeah, there's tutorials on farming on the channel. If you have any questions about Manor Lords, subscribe, turn on notification bell, check the tutorial series. Tutorials on farming, livestock, building your little fortress, how to get started, what to build first. Yeah, brother, medium village, brother, yeah. Will you gonna do a series on this game? Series on the channel. Check the channel. Playlists are on the channel. 
series, videos, live streams, all around the channel. Alright, we should be able to build our defensive stuff now, so let's do that. We have to build our bailey wall first, then we can build our manor house, then we can build gate house too. Bailey wall is going to be fun. Wait a minute. That's an accidental, uh, Wowa Crispy. That's when I discovered how the algorithm worked. Saddest video ever made. Not about talent. It was a mistake. Damn it, the gatehouse is always off. Close enough. Let's get to work. All right, so we're going to build our fortress up there. Good. Can you do two gatehouses? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Damien, thanks for the gift bomb, bruh. Blowing it up in the chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, brother. You can do multiple gatehouses? Oh, thank God. Uh. Wait. 
Oh, you can. Ugh. Well, I only want one, really. Well, that's cool, though. Then that means you could build, like, one in the middle of the city. You could build a fort and then build houses around it, but that's going to take a lot of pre-planning. Anyway, I just want to be able to build it where I want it. You could build a double-gated community just in case they get past the first gate. Cool, thanks, chat. Alright, I need a few more people. So I'm going to build down here by the road. Thanks, Benji, for the two, bruh. Build a couple of houses there. Any info on Ixion and Frostpunk 2? I don't have any at the moment. But I would like to play those soon. Ooh. Trying to fit in a few more people for um, the farms and any other jobs unfulfilled. Yeah, if you zoom in on the hunters while they're hunting, they will crouch and uh, kind of sneak with their bow. Speaking of which, we can turn on the hunters again. We just need people. That'll equal more food. Excellent. Oh, the windmill looks sweet up there. Look at that. Control Charlie. I'm the tax collector yet? Uh, we can build that as soon as they're done building the uh, the fort, basically. And we could buy some more livestock if we wanted to. We have uh, three. Now uh, we still need to build a malt. A uh, malt house and a, uh, what's the other thing? Brewery. Yep. Ah. 
<sighs> What's up, uh, Wolf Warrior? How you doing? Let's keep trunking, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think after the game releases they'll have road pavement? Yeah, maybe the ability to put down... Maybe some sort of... Stones somewhere that might be the use of the stones in the future, maybe. I think its use will be limited, if at all. Chad, I haven't heard castle. I mean, tavern banger. I haven't heard it. Where's our song? Oh. It's as if I planned it, damn. Oh, wow. It's like I knew. You know what to do. Wow. Alright, the Bailey is complete. Now we just gotta build our uh, manners, Lord. We gotta build our manor lords. Need some more oxen. Three is not enough. Every time that bell rings, someone's turning on the notification bell to all. Not just turning the notification bell on, but literally hitting the bell and ensuring that all is highlighted. Otherwise, they'll miss out on all live streams, all giveaways, all videos, all upcoming games. Could you imagine missing out, chat? Wow.
You and your wife are getting a male Ger uh, German Shepherd puppy on Wednesday. Coming up with a list of names. Wife wants to ask chat what we should pick. Uh, www.youtube.com forward slash ICBM Raptor 2. Although that could be a little wordy. Yeah, Fritz. <laughs> Fritz would be a good one. Alright, the manor... The Lord's Manor is almost done, bruh. Then we can build the tax office and we can build the defensive tower. There's kind of a little... little military in the game. A little... A little defensive structure. Alright, we can almost get hunting again. So let's do this. Let's set both of them to no work areas. And just eight and eight. There we go. And what do we have for leather? 61 still. Wow. All right, we could import sheep, too. Um, nice spot for a sheep farm down here. Yep, homes can be upgraded. King wants taxes soon. What's the next game we're going to play? Well, there's a free game right now on Steam that's free till Monday. You can play free over the weekend called Barrow Trauma. So me and everybody else are going to uh, play that a little bit later. We're going to try to cooperatively operate a submarine on, like, the under the water of, I think, Titan? I forget what planet it is. Or maybe it's... Actually, maybe it's Europa. Uh, one of the moons of Jupiter? I forget. But anyway, we're going to be under the surface of a, of a moon where the surface is frozen, but the underwater is not. And there's crazy, scary stuff. It's cool. Barrow Trauma is really cool, and it's free. Best game ever. Just like this game. You say that about every game. Yes. Alright, so we'll do sheep next. Let's get some more oxen, though. We have four now. Alright, we also need to build a tavern. Not a tavern, a brewery and a malt house for the tavern. And we should be able to make bread now, too, this year. Grain will be harvested. We'll be harvesting 700 grain in 120 days. That'll be turned into flour and then should go to the communal ovens. And we'll get those filled up as soon as more people come in. We'll clear the work area. We'll just skip flax this time around. Looks like it's not really easy to get this time. Brown's just not fertile for it. That's fine. Um, we'll also need a weaver, too, then. Let's do our malt house and brewery over here.
It'll take too long to cut down those trees, so we'll just speed mode. And we'll need a weaver. I guess we could build that near where we build the uh, sheep. Yeah, this game's fun, otherwise I, I wouldn't play it. I mean, I think all games are fun, but it's various degrees, and considering that there's currently going on, you know, there's the, the Steam Next event going on, so there's... Uh, not a, there's a, too many games and not enough time, so the ones that, you know, are the most fun get a little bit more time, but that doesn't mean that they're... There's many other games that are equally as fun to this that I just haven't yet been able to play enough of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's build our weaver over here. Where the hell did I go? Hell? Oh, here we go. Alright, let's build a weaver first. What's up, Soupy Chowder? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to all you guys. By the way, Jerry with the big O50 bomb earlier has gotten us a lot closer to our 4,000 member celebration of uh, all sorts of games, including Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've never played that before. In fact, the developers of Kingdom Come Deliverance were, were in the stream as well. A few days ago, they were watching this game, and people were talking about Kingdom Come Deliverance and Red Dead Redemption and such, and those are going to be games that we play in the future. So if you've been wanting to see those games... Soon. Soon. Alright, we don't need to build too big of a sheep farm. I think we can do like 25 maybe. Eh, 28 is close enough. We probably won't have that many sheep, but it just looks nice to put it there. I wonder if it'll delete that tree. That's cool. They'll have some place to hang out. Ah, oh, never mind. You're busy moving to your new no new apartment? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's getting some upgrades. That's a little hastily built. We do that a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. This might be better. That's better. Okay, so we have our sheep paddock there. Now we can buy some sheep. Got barley going. Nice, nice. 
flower will be going soon. Oh, 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 oh boy, that was close. Woo. I thought that was F, boys. Woo. Oh my god, okay. Okay, she's she's unstable, boys. Okay, we're just gonna play on slow speed now. Uh, the developer was in earlier and said that Monday will probably be the last day for the demo, so download now. How much money do we have? 148? Uh, let's try 10 and then we'll export some stuff. Hopefully that'll work. See if we can export leather, okay. Uh, oh, we should be able to also build our tax office now and our defensive tower. Yeah, cool. Let's go, people! Build that right there. The tax collector. It'd be nearby, I guess. Everybody's favorite. Let's go, people! All right, the legal robbery guild is going to be built soon. Then we've got the. I need to remove a few people from the farm to work a couple other jobs. We'll get the two workshops going. Or the the sheep farm and then the uh, weaver will be going. So this should allow us to beat the game. So once we start, well, you know, beat the game, the demo, all the things that like we're supposed to do. We're going to be able to pay the taxes as soon as the tax office is built. Entertainment, we'll just wait for the barley to... Uh, ...basically grow and be transported over there. So we need a few more people to help out. Let's remove a few people from there. Yeah, taxes from the... I think that's automatic, too. I don't think you need anybody working there. We we'll have one in the brewery, one in the malt house. We should be making bread shortly. 71 days, and then the farms will produce 624 grain. And we just need those two buildings done. Can you upgrade houses and such in the demo? Yeah, that's the uh, the final goal, is to upgrade three houses. It's possible. In order to upgrade the houses, there's a tutorial video on how to do everything in the game, but basically you need all these green uh, diamonds to be completed. So basically what they're waiting for us to do is to provide two types of clothing. Well, all right. They want two food types, so we're producing a ton of them. You know, like milk, eggs, uh, bread, meat. Those are things that we're making. Vegetables. We've already got some clothing in the town because we're providing leather to the townsfolk so they can make their own leather clothing. And we're going to be very soon producing... Once we have sheep, we'll be able to shear them and make wool out of that. And then they'll be able to make clothing from yarn. Then the entertainment, we're just waiting on the uh, brewery to make some beer and such. Then we'll be able to turn on the tavern. And then Faith is already completed. Yes, Jesus. He's here too. He's just saying hi. Oh good, we've already got a sheep. And it seems like the sheep are automatic. Meaning you don't have to, like, feed them. They just kind of, like, magically... They just graze the grass. You don't have to feed them anything extra. No day-night cycle, no. But there is, like, a seasonal cycle. And the weather kind of changes with that.
Uh oh. Oh, he's fine. Alright, chat. Keep an eye on the town. Ah, oh, it takes a long time to build that tower, man. I was able to go make coffee. Get some drink. Pay some bills. Jeez. Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course now I come back and now look at... Now, now they're working again. Of course. Of course. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the money is weird in this game. Like, I thought the tax collection was re related to regional wealth, but... Apparently the king wants to be paid with a different dollar. It can't be made through trade, it has to be made through stealing from the people, through taxes. Like, that's the only acceptable money. Like, oh bro, did you make that via trade of selling goods and wares? Gross. Dude, you gotta go take that money from people who, like, earned it. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go.
Yeah, left is the on economic strength of the county, right is your own money, yeah. But it should be related. Like, the co how would he know? How is he going to know? All right. Anyway. Hey, what's up, Dada? How you doing? Oh, look at the trees regrowing fast already. All right, let's cut down. I think we should probably... Eh, we don't need that many logs anymore. Shut those down. We can start people on mining. We should be able to... Are we making beer yet? Nope. All right. But we have a sheep farm ready, so we can take care of the sheep and start weaving. The landscape down here is gorgeous. It's like so foggy from the river and stuff. It's gorgeous. Yeah, the money has to be earned via blood and sweat. No, can't can't be uh, earned by selling a good to like a local county. Anyway, now we're making uh, now we can make money. So we'll just tax people a little bit for just a short time. The king doesn't really ask for much, so it's just kind of a more of a tutorial. Wow, look at that. All right, so now we got 300 plus wheat. Which should make a bunch of, where does it say flour? Oh, there it is. All right, so now we can make flour, so that should be working for real. Stuff will get there delivered shortly. So clothing and entertainment are the last things before we can get some upgrades. Then we have uh, GG'd the demo. So we're buying more sheep. Sheep aren't cheap, but we're buying them. As quickly as possible, we got three. You used to play oh you're used to playing Rimworld. I saw Rimworld got like a big update for or it is getting a big update for something called like bio metrics or bio something or other. What's that called, chat? Bio world or something? You'll it'll allow you to have like families and stuff and start lineage, I think. But it's not like a mod, it's like from the actual devs. Oh, it's an update in a DLC. Hey, 57 Barley, fantastic. Oh, it's called the Biotech DLC. That seems cool. All right, we need more, uh, we need more people in the town. Starting to look a little crowded though. Again, we can modify some of the jobs. You know, we have so many logs, we could just shut down. Shut down the logging industry. We got tons of firewood. Let's chill out on that a little bit. Those guys can keep working. Uh, it's families per house, yeah. We'll do one hunter so we don't over hunt. Wow, two hunters already like 
plowed through the animals? Jeez. Love these trees here. This looks really nice. be able to store grain and flour up here. Oh, they're carrying flour. Or what's she carrying? Transporting pelts. Oh. Maybe more people at the windmill to go get the grain? Oh! The brewery is making making beer. Hell yeah, brother. Let's celebrate. You know what time it is, chat. Wait a minute. We're not going with this version. Hell no. We're going with this version. Just a little bit. Ready? Let's go. Go! Go! Good lord! Tavern Jam!
Yeah. God, oh god, ah, uh, that's not okay. Alright, cool. That was uh yeah, more medieval music. Alright, let's go, let's finish this bad boy up. So from what I can see is we just need to supply clothing and we have done it. So the sheep farm has produced two wool, being transported to the weaver, which has made five yarn. So now just the clothing dealer needs to come pick that up. Picketh picketh up thine wares. Brewskis have been serviced. Now we just need uh, clothing. Um, um, um. Yep, as it says in the lower right corner visible on screen, early access demo 0 0.5.1.1. Full game, all caps, nine exclamations? Question mark? How many sheep did we get? Five. Keep them cometh. You can't wait to see an upgraded house? Yeah, we're getting there. They just need to uh, deliver the yarn. There it goes. Uh, we lost supply of beer, though. Just need to increase the output. We have 141 barley, so that should be fine. I think I'm gonna go down to one and one. Put more people in the tr brewery. We just need to brew more. And we need to make more yarn. Only shortage now is on beer and yarn. Our granary is upgraded. We could upgrade the new one, but we don't really need to. They're making bread. There we go. Wheat's starting to get transported up here, so that's good. So then hopefully the mill will come and grab that. Takes a long time for bread to be made. But anyway, we have 830 grain, so that should be transported to the windmill soon. But bread's not really needed. Oh, and now we can pay the king. Excellent. So it'll just auto-pay, I think, at 140. We can turn off the tax collector now. Bum, bum. What's up, Zoxter? Good to see you. Yeah, we're just waiting for the... Uh we're just waiting for clothing.
Ah, there we go. Finally, he's making flour. All right, so the mill's making flour. And now he'll transport that to the bakers. And they'll make bread. Yeah, so in order to build it, first you have to build the bailey wall. Then you can put a gate on it. And then you can build the manor house. And then you can build your tax collector. And that's how to pay the king. So wall, gate, manor house, tax collector. Then you just have to turn the tax collector on to like one gold, like one silver that everybody owes you for a little bit. Alright, so we have ten yarn. And how are we doing on leather? 48 leather, 11 yarn. We can build a few more stalls. I don't think you can control the type of stuff that they sell. Let's get to work! Let's go, people! We'll build another stall. making ale. Nice. Don't need anybody mining anymore. Actually, so we'll keep three people there so they can bring bread up here. Or work on the bread production chain. We'll do one of those. Three of those. Very organized town. Thank you, dude. Uh, MMS, I prefer that you... Uh, Follow the community guidelines that you agreed to by being in this chat. Thanks. Appreciate it. Alright, let's go ahead and shut down the hunters for now. And we'll try and see if we can organize a few things differently. Oh, castle banger popping off again. We need the oxen to come over. Castle banger, tavern banger. Come on, we need one more type of material. Hey, give us a hand over here. Is this a Wendy's, sir? Wow, a carrot. Just one. <laughs> Such variety. Can't you also eat like the end of a carrot too? Like the green stuff. Wow, the uh, farm needs a little extra. Let's go, 
Alright, clothing stall complete. Let's get to work. Alright, let's hope that we can actually How many sheep do we have now? Seven? That eh, should be enough. And eh, we'll get to ten. But we need more money, so let's shut that down and put him there. Then they'll just sell leather for a while. I hope. Let's see. Yep. Yep. We're missing something in the town. Wow, look at these food types. Some of these guys have four food types. Cloth, leather, or yarn. Well, we have all these resources. We should be good now. 12 yarn. 46 leather. Maybe we should stop exporting. Maybe that would help. Let's just keep it here for now. We'll put people in the tannery and see what happens. We have 56 pelts, so that should help. I'll just put them on a five minute tan. Hopefully that'll be long enough to figure that out. Gooby-Doo and the mystery machine will pull up. Solve that mystery. Boys, there it is. All those houses are now ready to upgrade. We just got to upgrade like three of them. And the king's tax will automatically be paid. We have 81 coins. The king's only demanding five, which is interesting because it says... It's due in 110 days, but down here it says 104. All right, then. Let's upgrade three houses. Let's do it. Level two upgrade. Level two upgrade. Level two upgrade. So the houses to upgrade will also require four logs. So you'll need to make sure you have four of those per house, however many you want to upgrade. Showing some hustle, people. Let's go. I think we'll do an extendo marketplace here just to make it look nice. We'll put a market on both sides of the wells. Makes sense. Cavern banger again. And no issues today. Manor Lords has smiled, smiled upon us. Excellent. Only thing we're not making is like flax, but that's totally fine. Leather and wool for those warm winters. Cold winters, I mean. But it'll keep us warm in the winter. Alright, let's wait for these three houses to upgrade. Oh, they actually take the houses down. Huh. Upgrade, brother. Yeah, demo complete. Pretty much.
Oh, there you go. That's what the upgraded houses look like. So m more out of like wooden shingles and a little taller. Quest completed. Kind of cool when you hover over this too, it'll show you like every house that can be upgraded and where it is. And the king's demands will be completed automatically in like 90 days or something. No early payments, you know. He's going to he's gonna swing by town and pick it up himself. All right, I'm certainly going to take some pictures of this town. That is for sure. What a beautiful city. Bum, 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 bum. Very nice. It is time to show you guys a new game. For those of you looking for Warfare in this game, it should be coming soon in some sort of a, maybe a future demo or whatnot. But for now, for those of you who are big fans of Total War or Banner Lords, or if you're a big fan of Arma, let me show you another game that's free on Steam right now. Not only can you download this game, Banner Lords, right now for free, but the link in the chat right now, if you click or tap that link, there's another new game you might be interested on in trying out on Steam before it's uh, possibly disappearing on Monday, like this game will. Yeah, Manor Lords apparently is going to uh, go back into the uh, Disney vault for uh, a little while. So make sure you download Manor Lords now or the game that we're going to go check out live right now. Should be a pop-up at the next at the top of the chats to bring you to the next video. Otherwise, click or tap the link in the chat and get out of here. I'm going to take some pictures of this city for thumbnails in the future. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Manor Lords. But tonight, for another free game on Steam. It's a whole day of free games that you guys can play all weekend. So make sure you check them out. Thanks again, you guys, for all the support. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here and being awesome. And we'll see you all in a little bit in the next video. Dan, have that one permanent. Yeah, nicely done. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Let's go. Tavern banger.